looked down on King Street, preceding the entrance of the royal court, our royal guard. Our royal court is nearing the front of the gates. Please be respectful of our lines and please rise as the royal court enters the grounds of Iolani Palace. to perpetuate the life of this land in righteousness. So Keakua, come and give us all your blessings. Every mercy, every grace, every hope, every blessing in the new beginning, the new day that we desire. All these things we pray today. Makainoa, kamakua, amege keiki, amege wohani hamulele. Amen, amen. Ano ai ke aloha ya kako e kalahui aloha 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 mai kahi kino kalai ha e ha e a kavelo na kala ke one hinu hinu ni ihau a kahele lani ke aloha ai na ya kako a pau kamahalo anu ya uko o kahele ana mai a Meka hau oli oli noho ike o kana au ka ike ane ka nui lehu lehu a ka koe launa nei ma nei ike ia ka hali ali i o iolani ke olu olu o a mahalo anui ya ka hu kaleo Patterson mahalo anui no ka pule wehe a me ka hoa mai ka i ane ka mea ai a i a manawa noho i e holo mua na noho i ka koe me ke kahi o na koa Nā koa viva ole, ke kahi o nā koa, aloha nui ka ai nā aloha nei. She needs no introduction, but let us all give her our warm aloha ke olu olu. E pa i pa i lima kako, no ko kako mea ha i olelo, ni li lani traps. Aloha kala hui Hawaii. Aloha. Kukia imauna. Kukia imauna. Kukia imauna. Now we're going to add two more. Kukia ikahuku. Kukia ikahuku. Kukia i Hawaii. And Kukia i Waimanalo. Today we come from all islands to gather as one nation to show those who watch the Kalahui Hawaii, the Hawaiian nation, has not vanished. Today the Hawaiian nation rises up with many banners with many people to show our ability to bring together our diverse groups under one flag, 
our Hawaiian national flag. There are many people who are not aware that the Hawaiian nation is resilient. We have not come to mark the 127th year of the overthrow of the nation. We have come to remind those who are treacherous that it has been 127 years that they have violated our people's right to self-determination, but we have not left Hawaii. We have not lowered the Hawaiian flag. We are here. We are resilient. And joining us, many hundreds of our young warriors. I welcome the Opio, the Keiki who have come. They know their culture. They chant and pray with us. They walk with the makua and those who are kupuna. And I want to bring with me also hearts full of aloha and mahalo from the 38 kupuna who are arrested at Mauna Kea. Some have come to march with me. Others are there still holding the line. We will not forsake the wahipana. We will not relinquish the sacred places. We know that they are our wellspring. Self-determination is the right of all peoples. It is in international law, and it is in our own constitution. The right of the peoples themselves to determine their political status we say today that we are citizens of the Hawaiian nation. That is self-determination. By virtue of that right, will we develop our cultural, social, and economic rights. What is cultural development? It means that the Hawaiian people retake the sacred places so that we may worship there. How many generations have passed when the mothers and grandchildren have gone to Mauna Kea with the Pico? The ceremonies there will be performed now and in every future generation. We will never give up. Lake Waiau, where our children and Mo'opuna's Picos are taken in ceremony. The day will never come when Hawaiian women relinquish our role of guardianship over Lake Waiau, nor any of the summits, nor any of the perennial springs, nor will we forsake any other sacred place of our people. We gather here today to honor the memory of our queen, and we pray to the Aumakua that we will be strengthened as she was in her time of testing. Never did she relinquish the throne, never, but only by agreement to the U.S. to protect our lands. And here in the year 2020, we continue to see our lands desecrated and controlled by those who refuse to put up the housing for those on the waiting list for Hawaiian homelands. Many things have been revealed this week. Blogs from Mr. Richard Ha about the new geothermal development on Mauna Kea, Hawaiian homelands. Will we allow the state legislature to confirm Bill Isla? who called out weapons against our people, who took away the lure from the kupuna so that he could make a point, and who directed the chainsaws be brought to Mauna Kea to shred our national flag. We cannot allow someone such as this to steer the helm of the Department of Hawaiian Homelands. We cannot allow it. Our communities, Mauna Kea, 
all the way to Kahuku and Waimanalo, we are one family together. We are doing the same thing, protecting the Aina and speaking out for our rights. When the Kupuna were arrested, many were angry and they asked why? Why do you impose the kapu of aloha? And the answer is a simple one. They can bring the weapons, and they already have. Many people don't know that the DLNR in 2015 spent $55,000 for shotguns, high-powered rifles, and thousands of rounds of ammunition. Only last year did we find out that our taxpayer money was spent to purchase the LRAN. What was that? A machine to make us fall down, a machine to make us deaf so that we would be taken away on Mauna Kea. These things are silenced by Kapu Aloha. Violence, deceit, and treachery cannot stand up against the power of aloha. Now we know that $10 million in weaponry, threats, police, the SWAT team from Maui, the SWAT team from Oahu, and the National Guard did nothing but waste taxpayers' money. How many homes could we have built with that $10 million for our Hawaiian homelands waiting list? Kapu Aloha springs from the heart and the na'au of the Hawaiian culture. The Akua has given unto our people the keeping of one of the most sacred practices of the world, and that is Aloha. We carry it in our hearts, and we show it when we are assailed and assaulted. Today, we come together as one ohana, in joy and celebration to recall what we have lost and to thank the Akua and Aumakua for what we retain. I spoke on Wednesday about the parade that's going to be shortly coming to town. It's the parade that shows up every two years when there's an election period. That's the only time we see the politicians coming out asking us to vote? How will we repay their deafness and their funding of instrumentalities of war? We need to vote them out of office is the way that we repay them. The Kalahui Ohana has a report card that gives every elected official a grade if they support our aina, build houses for our people, and protect what is sacred, they get an A. But when I look at that report card, it tells me that many elected officials are failing in their job. So we are the ones to ensure that accountability, and that is why I am encouraging every Hawaiian to register to vote. Whether you believe in independence or not is not the question. The question is, will we come together and remove from power those who are deaf to our human rights? For this purpose, I have no problem voting, and I will inform myself. In Hilo, we are preparing for the politician parade Usually they come, we hide our face in shame. But this year, it will be different. When they come, we will be there wearing our red and yellow attire. And when they get up to speak, we will stop them and ask them, did you vote to protect Mauna Kea? Did you give money for Hawaiian homestead housing? And if they do not respond, we will let them know that they are not welcome in our community, and we will remember it when we mark the ballot. 
Words cannot express the aloha that we have for our community, how honored we are. All of us, the kupuna who marched, the little children who came, and the beautiful women of our academy here coming to sing to us as we pass. I thank the Akua and the Creator for the blessings that we retain. We are strong. We are resilient. 127 years pass. We return home. We forget nothing. We raise the next generation of warriors. Mahalo ke Akua. I just want to do something um, to talk about this day in history. But not just about this day in history, but today is part of this day in history. So on January 17th, around this time, around noon, our Queen Lydia, Lili Uloloko, Walania Vevehi, Kamakaeha Lili Uokalani, she stood in that blue room up above. As the Marines are gathering across the street. And on one hand, she knew that the survival of her country was a political entity being threatened for the second time in her life, first by the British and then by America. She could choose to either call her people to fight, to raise arms, and that would mean bloodshed. And she knew that her people would not march and could not match the military of the United States at the time and would risk the survival of her Hawaiian people. And I believe that that took courage on the part of our queen. As she invoked the courage from her ancestors, as she invoked the courage from her faith. The queen grew up in our Kalavina churches across the street in Kauaihao and also up the road where the old Kaumakapili church was. She was a church member. She was a choir director. She was the organist. And she created many other things within our Lahui. But on January 17th, our queen decided ultimately not to wage war. Instead, she decided to wage aloha. And today, we still wage aloha. There are many members of our Kalavina churches, including Kauai Ha'o, who remained loyal to our queen and were even in prison back in 1895. When the queen passed in 1917, she was laid to rest at Kauai Ha'o and here at Iolani Palace. 
But Noah's story, when she was laid to rest in state at Kauai Hao, her ku, her ku papao was being prepared for view. And by protocol, her crown should have laid on top of her casket. But in 1893, the illegal government, not just desecrated, but smashed all of these crowns of our mo'i. And so there was none to put on our casket. And so what the people at Kauai Hao did was they took the diadem that she always wore, and you could see on all of her portraits, and they placed it on her po'o as they crowned her once again the queen. And as they crowned her, it reminds me of the mele, kaulana na pua. And as you see in the final pauku, it states, Mahope mako wo liliu, alo kapono kaaina. But there is also another stanza that we do not sing, but is part of it. A kau ho ia eke kaulaunu, for she will be crowned again. The queen never had a coronation, but here at her death, her own people crowned her. A century later, we continue to wage aloha. We continue to wage aloha on behalf of Lili'u and on behalf of our kupuna kahiko, on behalf of all of our people who stand here, ready and proud. Indeed, her life was very embroiled in politicalness. Furthermore, let us never acquire a taste for disposition or for injustice. And we must never sit on the sidelines and let us all know that kindness is a sign of strength, not weakness. As our queen had penned humbly and eloquently in her pulea kahaku, no lailae kahaku malalo ko eheu, ko mako maluhia, a maulo akuno. And so, O Lord, beneath your wings be peace. Let there be peace forevermore. So, to all of us, Lili'u stood down so that we may someday stand up. And today is that day. Let us elevate, let us illuminate, and let us amplify her goodness. Courage is often a measure of our self-determination. It speaks to Ana'au, and it is usually the more difficult path to take. Because there is no courage without risk. There is no heroism without high stakes. The courage acts to save lives, and courage acts also to bring hope. Liliu shared these thoughts in 1917 at the waning of her life as she writes, I could not turn back the time of political change, but there is still time to save our heritage. You must remember, for politicalness, never cease to act because you fear you may fail. The way to lose any earthly kingdom is to be too inflexible, intolerant, and prejudicial. Another way is to be too flexible, too tolerant of too many wrongs, and without judgment of all. It's a razor's edge. It is the width of the blade of peely grass. To gain the kingdom of heaven is to hear what is not said, to see what cannot be seen, and to know the unknowable. That is truly aloha. And so I leave you with these few thoughts. There is a difference on how we are taught. In school, we are taught a lesson, and then we take a test. But in life, we are given a test that teaches us a lesson. If we only do what we have always done before, we will never be more than what we are now. A wise person seeks inside themselves. A small, a small person seeks others. And lastly, if you want to go fast, then go alone. But if you want to go far, then let us all as a lahui go together. As Kamehameha Nui proclaimed at the Battle of Kepaniwai, Imua, Imua e na po ki'i, e inui kawai ava ava. It is our duty as the Lahui to stand 
as she has stood down, let us stand up. Today is the day that we stand up. Today is the day that we speak up. And today is the day that we take the step forward. Mahalo anu ya oi, kau ke makua kani, mahalo kai le ana mai, kika ana ana mai kou mau mana, mahalo nui, i kou leo pule mau, o ka kou kalahui, i ke i manawa no hoi, make make no au, e ho o mau me ka leo mahalo, mahalo ho no hoi ka kou ya ati tifani. Mahalo anui ya barbecue kai mai wai anai mai Mahalo anui Costco Hawaii Mahalo anui ya Dorian Liko Kabanting Mahalo anui ya Halika Tours Mahalo anui ya Hawaii Health and Harm Reduction Center Mahalo anui ya Hawaiian Hut LLC Mahalo anui, e Hawaiian soldier, me kana po iho kadipila. Mahalo anui, ya beaboveall.com. Mahalo anui loa, ya Helani Sonora Pale, one of the primary organizers for today's event. Ladies and gentlemen, pai pai li makako. I believe I saw her. Hey, Eleni. Hey, Eleni. Oh, here, oi, hey, Eleni. Eleni. I know that she's going to be a little kuha with me and she's going to tell me no need, but you all need to see one of the primary organizers for today's event. A few words, uh, sister. Aloha, Kalahui Hawaii. This day, over 120 years ago, our queen, when she became, when she came on the throne, the first thing she did was she went around the islands and she asked her people, what do you want? She went and listened to her people on every island. And on every island, her people said, we want a new constitution. Get rid of the Bayonet Constitution of 1887. And she did that. In 1893, on a Saturday, 7,000 of our kupuna, of our ancestors, stood on these grounds 127 years ago and waited for our queen to announce the new constitution that would restore our kingdom, our nation, and the mana back to the throne. Unfortunately, she came out on the balcony 127 years ago and she said, not today. And she asked our people to stay in Kapu Aloha. No violence. 127 years ago that happened. And we're still waiting for justice. They used that constitution as an excuse to overthrow illegally our Hawaiian kingdom. And today, we're still here, we're stronger, there's more of us, and we never forget. We can never forget this day. So stand with us every day on January 17th, every year. Next year, we'll be here again, and the year after. 
And 10 years from now, our children will be here. 20 years from now, our grandchildren will be here. We're not going anywhere. This is our day to remember our queen and what she did and her sacrifice to our people. So imua, ikalahu i Hawaii. Aloha, mahalo everyone for coming, aloha. Mahalo, 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 mahalo. Mahalo to you, Helani, for all your hard work and for your love for our people. Ladies and gentlemen, for those of you not familiar with my face, Wauno Okumuhina, and I am your uh, MC for the day. I'll just stay right in the back here where I belong. Uh, we'll let every, uh, every other person who is coming up to speak uh, take the front, but as long as you can hear me, no need to see me, just as long as you can hear me, I'm here. Oh, my name is Kaleo Mahalo. Mahalo Anui, Yahoo, Yalo Aina Momona. Mahalo Anui, no Kahoma Kaukau Anu Kamia Ai. Wa ma ona Kokaku Opu. Ma Anohoya, wa Ikai Kahoma no Kekino. Mahalo, Mahalo, Mahalo. Mahalo no Kana Nui. Mahalo e Kalahui Hawaii. Mahalo Anui, Kamehameha Foundation. Mahalo Anui, ya Kapu System. Mahalo anui ya kia i convoy. Au hea o koe na kia i convoy ala ka i ia na Jamie Rodriguez a me kana mau puhulu kia i. Mahalo, mahalo, mahalo. Mahalo ya oe Lala Nus. Lala, mahalo, mahalo. Mahalo anui ya malama Eco Products. Mahalo anui ya malama ka ala sound. Mahalo, mahalo. Mahalo. Mahalo man ka alisang. Mahalo man. Mahalo man ko yung tita ene. Mahalo man ko yung 808 sounds. 808 sounds. Mahalo. Let's hear from tita ene and 808 sounds. Mahalo. So you can hear my voice. It's even more low. Can you do it? Can you like raise the key of my voice? A little bit? Yeah. Okay, it's kind of low. Then I'm just playing it. Just playing it. Don't make me sound like a chipmunk. Oh my gosh. I play a lot of fun with you. Oh yeah. Uh, I'm going to know that 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 I'm going to know. That's those tall wahine that's what's running around. If you see the real, real tall wahine, you know that's them. And the, the, the other wahine that sound like me, yeah, that's them too. Yeah. Mahu are magic. Contrary to what you were all taught to believe, and contrary to what people used to say about people like me in school, Mahu are magic. Don't get it twisted. Yeah, you know everybody, since I'm in charge of the mic today, I'm going to fall out. So let me tell you all something about that. Part of the decolonization of our mind, everyone, is to understand aloha and to understand aloha aina. And our lahui, our people, our kane, our wahine, we also know about us people that exist somewhere into the middle Somewhere, whether we farther on one side or farther on the other side, get kane that go one all the way to the other way, get wahine go all the way on this side, and that's just the way of our life. And so, with great pride and great appreciation, it is wonderful to see all of you today. Lahui, mahalo for being here. So like I said, yeah, Mahu is magic, yeah? Any Mahu out there? Where's the Mahu around here? I know I've seen a whole bunch of Mahu running around over here. If you guys are around, 
Show your face. Mahalo. I don't want to be the only one up here. Mahalo Anuya, Mauna Kea Anaina Ho. Mahalo, mahalo, mahalo for all of your dedication and your commitment and your hard work. Kukia Imauna! Kukia Imauna! Kukia Imauna! Yeehaw! Mahalo ena kupuna eno hoana i kamalu o kalaina mua. Mahalo nu ya uko kaho kupa. Please, pai pai lima kako, ladies and gentlemen. Our kupuna on the front line have come down from the mauna to be with us here today. So everybody better recognize. Mahalo, 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 and you name mahalo. Mahalo. When did Mililani go? I. She went that way. Okay. I'll finish the mahalo and then I'm going to go back to sit down. Um, okay, Kalamai, I'm going to Vehe Kapa'u. So you can see, we cannot charge money for it nowadays because you know, it's out of commission. Okay, you guys see this? Can you see my leg? Thank you, mahalo to the Mauna Medics because I was hobbling around the other day and today, I said, I'm going to hear the voice of my canoe coach when I was 15 years old, saying, come on, Wong, let's go. Come on, Wong, let's go. Come on, Wong, let's go. The whole way, whole way, push it. And people said, oh, sister, you're going to come in the side gate. No, I'm going to finish. I'm going in through the main gate. Oh, sister, you like ride down. No, I'm going to finish. I started it. I'm going to finish it. <laughs> Told you, Mahor magic. <laughs> So once again, thank you so much, Mauna Medics, for taking care of our people, not only on the Mauna, but everywhere where you go. You are truly, truly appreciated. I don't hear, I don't see here um, Iolani Palace, Paula Akana, and to all of the staff, to the security. Is that you, Bo? Hey, Bo. Everybody say aloha, Bo. That way, hey, mahalo, come pick me up later, okay? Take me to my car. So I know you Mahalo anui to Iolani Palace for all of the continued support for all these years in the events that we host here for our Lahui. Mahalo anui to maunacoin.com. Mahalo anui ya Menehune Water Company. Mahalo anui ya Nako Aloha Aina. Mahalo anui na aikaane o Maui Cultural Center. Mahalo anui, Premier Barbershop and Medi Spa. Mahalo anui, Songs for Sovereignty. Mahalo anui, Sons of Yeshua. Mahalo anui, Star and Band. I believe that's Star Kalahiki. So we should be visited by her later on today. Once again, Mahalo anui, Atita Ene and 808 Sounds. Yeehaw! My voice still sounds low. You didn't fix it yet. <laughs> mahalo anui, Visa Castillo. A mahalo anui, Ya Warrior Printing. And all the others that may not have been named in this reading. No get mad, ke. No get hoo hoo. In case your name wasn't on this list, I was given the list. So just know that my voice right now says, Mahalo to everyone. The individual, the group, the company, the business, everybody, big, small, in between. Mahalo for donating your time and your resources to support with today's event. Ikeya Manawa, Make Make Noa, Ekahea, Ayane O Kumu Imai, Woho Iho Mai O Kumu Imai, Aole. Our younger leaders, our up and coming leaders for tomorrow. Oh, yeah, Oko and Nakiai, Kekahaukani, 
mai mano a mai au hea o ko hele mai na we mai kipa mai maluno ka papa ho ike ike nei ke olu olu We are some of the students, uh, the members of part of Kia Ike Kaokani. We are, um, we have occupied Bachman Hall for about 117 days. We stayed inside, in the door, outside, um, and we, we wanted to um, hold the university accountable for their actions that they've done in the summer and arresting our lovely kukuna over there. Wanted to make sure, we wanted to make sure that their actions this summer weren't gonna go un unheard. So we decided on the first day to Noho at Bachman Hall. We didn't only just Noho at Bachman Hall, we opened up Bachman Hall to our community members students, faculty, and staff to come and sit with us and um, occupy the space. We held protocol three times a day on Wise Field at 8, 12, 5.30. We wanted to create a safe space, pretty much create a kipuka there at Abakman Hall to kind of huli the heva that the university has done to our, not only our people, but Kalahui and Aloha mai kāko, e nā hoa makamaka o keia aina nei o Hawaii. Aloha mai kāko. Um, yeah, so we spent a semester meeting with the VPs, the president, and the board of regents for the University of Hawaii system. Um, if the regents wanted to cancel the sublease to TMT tomorrow, they totally have the power to do that. And it was important for us to know that. There was a lot of, um, at the time, before the semester started, there was a lot of misinformation where like, do they have the power and are they willing to do it? And if they know how they're hurting their haumana, why, would it, why wouldn't they act? And so for the semester, we were meeting with um, the VPs, President Lasner, um, a handful of the regents. And it was very, it was needed for us for, to look into their eyes and for them to know that we suffer and that they are willing to do nothing. Um, the th we, held fast together in our pule three times a day. Big mahalo to all of our Mauna Ohana who came and taught us how to do our pule. Can we, can we have Pa'i Pa'i Lima for Lanakila and all of you that helped us? Um, there's a racism commission that's being built at the at UH Manoa. Um, it's, it's, it's unexplored territory as far as we know that, that a commission being built just to address racism, just to look at how it, um, the university has impacted Native Hawaiian students, faculty, staff. So we're hopeful for that and we're, we're eager to see what comes. It's not to say that it's a solution or that it's a, it's a great critique that, you know, nothing may come of it, but at least we know that we tried.
Currently, AHA is still being held at Kiahuno Mauna Kea, the AHU that was built in 2015. Um, it's being held by Kumu at 12 o'clock p.m., so please join us if you ever need a space to come together. Sundays at 3 o'clock, they're doing Papa Hula and Oli um, at Bachman Hall at the Wise Field. And if you guys ever want to stop by, Bachman Hall is the, build the main administrative building for the regents, for David Lasner um, for the VP. So if you guys ever want to say hi, I'm sure they would love to see all of you. a little bit more on that on our kipuka that we were able to create at Bachman Hall. A lot of us students who had to sadly come back for the semester and couldn't stay with our kupuna, um, we needed a space and so um, we understood that all of our lahui didn't have the money or time to get up to the mauna so we created a space for them and that's what the ahu is, that's what it was this semester and it still is and so if you are still looking for a space you can't make it up to the Mauna. That ahu is mainly used to send our prayers straight to the Kia'i and straight to Mauna Kea. And so we welcome all of you. We mahalo all of you for supporting us and keeping us company and also following our social media for any Mauna updates as well. Um, yes. That's all. Mahalo nui, lahui. We love you. I thought you guys were going to talk a little bit longer so I could finish my play. Aww. <laughs> you guys don't need to see me. I'll just continue to sit back here. Okay, Yamanawa. Eh, hindi mayana no, maluna ka popo ho ikin kene. Itahi. O naala ka i. How did you meet? Um Someone who I have great admiration and great, great respect for. This gentleman, for many years, when I worked at Halal Lokali Public Charter School, and it was Halal Lokali and Halal Kumana that side by side, in the community, marching down the roadway, going to the capital. Every last rally, protest, other demonstration. I knew that there was another Kubu who on the other side was the sergeant at arms and the Ilamuku for his side while I got my side. This is someone who is down in fight for our lobby. This is someone well, truly my book represents Aloha Aina. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, ke olu olu, e pai pai lima kako no kumu di mai Winchester. Kumayokalani <laughs> Ele ia koe hi hano hano e li li uo lo lo kui ke kapu. E no no li li uo kalani. 
Hello, everybody. Hello. Make some noise if you march with us today. Yeah. Make some noise if you came all the way from the west side. Make some noise if you're here representing the east side. All the Ohanas from North Shore, make some noise. All us guys from town in Kona, let me hear it. Today is a very special day. Today is a very important opportunity for us, the people of Hawaii, the famous flowers scattered all around this world, but collected, unified, standing in solidarity today, remembering who we are, remembering our history, remembering that for 127 years, our government our voice, what Iliwo Kalani claims, is the voice of God. For 127 years, we have dealt with the colonial occupational force of the United States military. And I'm here today to say that the Hawaiian Kingdom lives! The Hawaiian Kingdom lives! We have not recessed into history. We have not been buried by the hands of time. No, no, no. We have become stronger. We have solidified our roots deeper. Our trunk, our limbs, our branches, our fruit are here leading this movement of ours. Those of you who have come from Hawaii, those of you who have come from California, all the way around the world who are sharing the message of our people, we march for you. Those of you who put your children in immersion schools, we march for you. Those of you who refuse, refuse to be buried in the hands of time, we march for you. And today here, at the scene of the greatest crime in Hawaiian history. We have returned. The loyal subjects of the kingdom have returned. Yeah. Loyal subjects of the kingdom have come to share, to spread the word of the love of our land. Yeah. The love of our people. Yeah. The love of our future that we hold together here today. Yeah. A few days ago, I came back from a far journey in a land called New York. Oh, oh, man. that is. And in New York, we were invited by indigenous groups around the world to share the story of Hawaii, to share about our Olano, to share our genealogy, to share the political history, to share who we are as a people. And we went to set the record straight. We took our Olano Hawaii. We built a vessel and we use it to travel around the world, taking our stories around the world. And for all of us here who are blessed, who are privileged to live here in Hawaii, know that there are many Kanak around the world. They came, they came to see us at New York and the entire play, they cried. Tears of pain, tears of joy, Here's a celebration of how far we've come. And so today, today, we remember the final kawoho, the final command of Lili'u Kalani, and it was simple. The final edict by our queen, Onipa'a. Say it with me, Onipa'a. 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 Onipa'a we must be steadfast. We must be strong for one another. We must be strong for our kupunas who have led the way. We must be strong for our brothers and sisters who have lost the way. We must be strong for our children who are running around, who are making Lili Kalani smile, tears, rain of joy. Today to see her beautiful children here on the palace grounds celebrating the continued independence of the Hawaiian Kingdom. Ayo. Ayo. 
So today, as we spend these moments here together, I want to thank all of the organizers for allowing us to amplify our voice. I want to thank all of the schools participating here today, hundreds and hundreds of Haumana from all over the island coming here to Iolani Palace to share what has always been ours, Hawaii. I want to commend the decades and decades of struggle, of sacrifice, of loss that it took to get our people here today. We have not forgotten you. We will never forget you. We also cannot forget that we as Makua have the sacredness of responsibilities that is to cultivate the next leaders, that is to cultivate the strongest Lahui that we can build. The time of the Kanaka being the victim is over. The time of the Kanaka playing defense is done. Oh, it's offense time. We will become the architects. We will become the engineers of our own future. We will not wait for other powers to cast that on us. Aole. We are stronger than we have ever been, I. We are stronger than we have ever been, I. We have more capacity than we've ever had, I. And so today, we're going to weave that lay with all of the famous flowers from all of our islands. Bound together by love and aloha. The same love and aloha that has carried our people from thousands of years will be the same aloha that will carry our people for a thousand more. Not here in Hawaii, but beyond our shores, beyond our space and our time. And I'm so overcome with joy to see all of our youth. To see all of our youth here with their kupuna, here with the generational intersection. Today, we build a bridge. Today, we interweave our people, our voices, our future together. And this is our commitment. And this is what I'm going to ask everybody to do while I take my last three words. Put your fist in the air like this. This fist was taught to me by Kekuni Blaisdell, Ayo! Papa Soli Nihel, Ayo! And for all of our kupuna who have passed, we continue to stay committed. Onipa'a! 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 Lahui Hawaii, we make the commitment. I commit to you, you commit to me. And together, we're going home to the kingdom. Together! We're going to return Ea to where it belongs together. <laughs> we will build our future. Aloha wa ya oko pa ka ia pao. Dona po e i ako ako a mai ke ia wahi kapu. Ke ia wahi kaulana o iolani. Dolaila, e na pua kaulana o hawa inei. E ho olu la hui. Wahi akamo i kala kawa. E ho olu la hui. E ho olu la hui. We need to begin to expand who we are as a people. We need to reproduce because we make the prettiest babies out there. Yes, yes, yes. It's a match. So go out there, Hawaiians, and make more of us. Mind, body, and spirit. And so let me leave you with these words real quick. Mahalo to Hina. Kumuhina, mahalo to all of the Kumus. Raise your hand, make some noise if you're a teacher. Yeah. Make your hand if you spoke kids, you come too. Ah. Hey. <laughs> With that, Eku Ulahui, my beloved nation, brothers and sisters, fathers and daughters, sons of this special place we call Hawaii our home. All of my aloha to you. May we always stand together in Pono. May we always defend each other in Pono. 
May we always heal each other in Pono. With that, I look forward to seeing everybody in the streets, on the news, and wherever we need to be to make sure that Hawaii, our home, the place, this little Aina colored heaven, as Uncle Skippy says, can continue in perpetuity for our children and for our legacy. Once again, my name is E. Michael Lenny Winchester. I'm very happy to be here with all of our leaders, all of our kumu, all of our hard workers in the Lahui, making it happen every single day. You are not forgotten. This is for you. Aloha nui kako. Wahi aka manu, he la nui ke ye ya oi ke kahi. Please join me, let us sing Kumaya Kalahui. Ebe lo ma lo wa ku u, hai aloha. Ika nu u o ka leva la ni la. Hai maluhi ya nona kawa. Wait, don't run away. Because I'm your MC for today. So just like how you boss you around, or you how mana, I'm gonna boss you around today and tell you, please join me in singing Lahui. Haoli laha na o ya oe, haoli laha na o ya oe, haoli laha na o kumu i mai, haoli laha na o ya oe. To you, my favorite, my favorite statesman and lahu leader, haoli laha na o ya oe. I would follow you anywhere, Kumu. Oh, by the way, you said Ho'olu Lahui. I've been trying that and trying that, but it's not been successful. So, can you figure out something? Thank you very much. And if you guys never get that, Aue. Aloha no. Ke Olu Olue Kalahui Aloha. Mahalo Ho Apauloa. Mahalo Ho. Ya o ko a Paoloa, na lima kokua, na lima hana, na kakoo, ike ya papahana o ke ya la. I will continue to say mahalo, mahalo, mahalo to each and every one of you who made today possible, even if it was just by your attendance. Mahalo. Without further ado, we all know who she is because she brought us to the focal points of things happening everywhere throughout Hawaii. She also served as a face and the voice of that which we know as Mele Manaka. She too is one of our leaders in the community because her voice echoes and resonates the aloha of our people in all that she does. She is now 
the one with the kuleana to lead and guide Iolani Palace. Ke olu olu e kalahui e pa ipa ilimakako no kwahine nani mahie hie o pala akana. Mahalo. Aloha Kako. It's so beautiful to see you all here. Watching the watching everybody walk in, it brought tears to my eyes. As Kumuhina said, I'm Paula Akana and I'm so proud to be the executive director of the Friends of Iolani Palace. This magnificent building behind us. December 31st on Queen Kupi Oleni's birthday, we commemorated the 140th anniversary when, the, when Kalakaua and his masons laid that very first cornerstone for this building. And it's my kuleana to make sure whatever happens to us as our people of Hawaii and our kingdom, that this place, this beautiful place, Haleno Ali, is standing for generations to come. I took the job in July. One of the first things I found out was the roof is leaking. Okay, old building, I, I get it, right? No, the roof is leaking. It leaks on people, it leaks on things, it leaks on computers. Our curatorial staff that help to take care of everything, when it rains, they're running around with buckets all around the top, right? You heard about the bees. The bees are still here. The bees are in the palace walls, the outside of the walls. We have to remove them, especially for the Festival of the Pacific Fest Pack coming up soon. There's so many things that she needs, right? Almost every day I go to the statue and talk to the boss. I have a couple bosses, I We have Kalakaua, we have Kopi Olani, we have Lili Uokalani, and I tell them that is my kuleana to fix this hale. The coronation pavilion is falling apart. You notice we can't go in there anymore. Whether it's the Royal Hawaiian Band or whatever it is, to do the speeches, it's in need of help. The shady areas, we call them the pergolas on the side. You see all the construction around it, uh, the construction fencing, they're falling apart. I'm talking to the lawmakers who didn't realize the problems within the palace. Um, they're working very hard. I think we're going to have three bills before the legislature to help give us the money to repair and maintain Iolani Palace as it needs to be done for the future generations. Not only for us, but for our children, our grandchildren, and our great-grandchildren for those to come many generations after that. So I'm asking for your kukua in many ways. If you want to make a donation, make a donation. If you can become a friend of Iolani Palace, you can go online, you can come see us, become a friend of Iolani Palace. If you can be a voice when these bills are being heard at the legislature to tell our lawmakers to make sure, just give them that nudge. And I really, I really, um, Kapu Aloha goes a long way when you talk to some of these gentlemen and women next door when they look down on the palace. And so I really would like to encourage you to all get involved because this is our palace. And I love it dearly and I love the people who represent this palace and represented our people. You know, they didn't always live in the palace. They had their own little hale on the side. They felt more comfortable in their in their little house, right? But the things that went on in this palace that showed who we were as a people and as a kingdom and that Hawaiians were recognized by so many around the world. There's so much beautiful history that we are trying to keep alive to share not only with our people, but with people around the world so they'll know. So I just wanna thank you for being here. I wanna thank you for this beautiful march that you did to honor our queen so that we never forget those times in history, the good times and the bad. A kaumaha day, but an also a day of, a day to rejoice that we're together as Ha'ahil, people so proud 
when I saw the 2,000 marchers strong, oh, right. So I just want to thank you, and I just want to encourage you to be involved and help us at the Friends of Iwalani Palace as we work to not only restore and maintain this beautiful building, but to perpetuate the stories of our people to share with the world. Well, mahalo. And mahalo, Hina, for always being that guiding star when I need to call somebody. Mahalo. How are we doing? Hey, here we are. Mahalo, Anu Yaoi. Mahalo anui, no kumalo maana, di kahali alii, no kapono, no na adau na ihiki mayana. Mahalo. Ike iya manawa, make make no wau e kahea, iya wahine, na na no hoi kahana paio, paio, paio. Paio mau, no ke mau maki ala hele, ho o i kaika, no ka pono, o mau na kea. For you see, there are several faces associated with leadership upon the mauna. One of the primary faces for whom we all have much to thank in the struggle to take the stand for the issues pertaining to Aloha Aina and our Mauna Awakea. At this time, I humbly request of Ms. Kealoha Pishara to please join us here. Ke olu olu e kalahui, pai pai lima kako, ke aloha Pishara. Aloha. 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 Wow. I'm so grateful to be here with all of you to s not just celebrate, but to also feel the Kaumaha of the day. But the Lahui isn't just rising. It's risen, and it's not going back in the bottle because we are free, our mind, our body, and our spirit. The Akua, yeah, let's, let's be thankful for that. And thank the queen for that because she ins she's our inspiration for aloha. Today we raise the standard of aloha for a better world. The mauna is the great unifier and magnifier. It unified us and it magnified aloha, and it spread around the world. And we are so grateful. The message is one of the biggest messages. Well, let me just say, in the media, Mauna Kea is the most spoken word more than the bombing of Pearl Harbor and even statehood. So we have reached a new level. Together as a Lahui, nothing could have been done without first the Akua, then the Aina, and then the Lahui. We and the land are one, and we have to embody that. What does it mean to embody that? We and the land are one. As the land 
suffers, we suffer too. But we're turning that over now because we're not going to carry the heva of the oppressor anymore. We throw it off. We throw it off. Because when we carry that, their heva, we come sick. The aina comes sick. So that's why we need to stand even at that building over there. And we need to stand and use all of our rights. I'm not just Native Hawaiian. I'm Kanaka Maoli. I'm Oivi. We are every one of those things and we are allowed to self-identify and not be put in a box. We are all of those things and we are freeing ourselves and the aina. As we free ourselves, the aina is free. As the aina is freed, we are freed. And that is what the stand is about in aloha. Aloha is our greatest power. It is the greatest power in the universe and it is the greatest power ever. And aloha will win today and forever. And I'm just so honored to have an opportunity to even come here and speak before all of you and I was honored to march with you. And I'm honored to stand with you, be it on the Mauna or anywhere else. Because, you know, when I was talking the other day at the Capitol, I forgot to mention that the Capitol is built to emulate Mauna Kea. It's meant to, to look like the Mauna. It's open to the sky. Okay. All the water is surrounding it. But every rock and stone and piece of sand is our aina. So I know that there's some people who are a little afraid of that political process. But on Wednesday, what we saw was now it belongs to Akua. Because we called Akua in, and then we asked Akua to abide there, and everywhere we go, we must ask Akua to abide with us. We need to say, Akua, greet us at the door when we arrive, because we choose you. Because where the Akua are, that which is contrary cannot exist simultaneously. And it is righteous. What is righteousness? Ua mau ke e o ka aina i kapono is not the state model. The, uh, the Ali'i gave it, knowing the forces were coming when they uttered that. That's a decree, it's a mandate. The Akua lifted up this aina into the heavens again because they saw what was coming. And now we utter it. But what is the righteousness that is protecting the aina? It is the aloha of the Akua forever. So when, whenever we go anywhere, we need to kahea, say the pule, ask them to abide and say, may all things righteous be fulfilled here, now, and today. We must say it all the time. Carry, walk with the akua. Wherever you go, when you make your ho'okupu, let that be so. When you make your speech, let it be so. We say Kakua, speak for me so that when they hear what I say, they're hearing what the akua, the will of the heaven. That is what Mauna Kea teaches us. 
to cool low to the wills of the heavenly realms. And so I have a practical thing besides the thing like this. I just want to remind everyone that not to be afraid because the Akua bring the life back. And when they are present, we ask them to restore it to the day it was when it was created. And that's what we need to do and keep doing and have faith in ourselves because we no longer need to carry the heva of the oppressor. We free ourselves and we throw off that yoke of occupation, domination, and subjugation. Anyways, I have to tell you that we need to find the uncle who gave us this earlier to carry in the march because he couldn't march. Does anyone know? Oh, it's Uncle George. Okay. Well, anyways, doesn't it just say everything we needed to say right now? <laughs> anyways, Uncle George, we have your the kind. So find us. We'll look for you. Anyways, aloha, everybody. Mahalo for letting me speak and um, for this opportunity to um, share about our beloved Mauna Kea. Aloha. Aloha. Mahalo. 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 Aye, mahalo. Um, I think right along well with our schedule today. We have a few more people uh, that will be joining us to speak and they include Ke'eau Moku Kapu and Jamaica Osorio. I believe I just saw Jamaica. Jamaica? Um, if Jamaica and Ke'eau Moku could kind of show their faces to me so I know where you are. Out here, Olua, Kea Moku, Kea Moku Kapu, Out here, Oi, Maui Nui, I know Kulua, I know Kamalala Valu, Nahono Api Ilani, Out here, Oi, Kea Moku Kapu, And Jamaica Osorio. I know I just saw Jamaica walk back this way. Okay, so in a in a Mekono Olu Olu Mekono Olu Olu in Kaleo Kahea in Keala Kai Keala Kai Oye no Puka Walahu Yaloha. Wa mau popo mo no pai ya uko uko no mo oku au hau a ale pono ka ve ve ane ya uko e ye no nae i loko no o ka na mau hana ho na uwa au i kala hui a i loko no ho i o ka na ho oku pa a me ka pai o ana no ka pono ka mau na a me ka mai ka i o kala hui e ya mai no i ya ho a pai o Ia koa aloha aina. Ia mai no. Ia mai no. Pai pai lima kako. Jamaica Osorio. Yo. Aloha mai kako. Aloha. Beautiful to see the lahu here today. Um, beautiful to see the skies. Small kind clearing for us. Um, it's been a whirlwind these last few months. One of the most beautiful things I've witnessed is the way we've come together for whatever it may be, that we've stood by each other, with each other, not just with our aina, but we have coalesced as a lahui in a way that I've never seen before in my life. Oftentimes when we talk about aloha aina, we are fixated on our pilina with the aina, which is so important, our intimate individual pilina with this place. But for the first time in my life, 
I think we're remembering together the really important part of Aloha Aina that binds us together as Kanaka. The way that our love for this place will make us fight for each other as fearlessly as we will fight for our Aina. So I want to mahalo you folks for all of that. I'm just going to do two short poems, one short, one long poem for you folks today. The first poem was written in the Malu of Mauna Kea, just days, the morning after our kupuna were arrested. The poem speaks about this intense change that we're going through as a people. And that so much of me is apprehensive most days because I don't know who I'm going to be, who we are going to be when this hulihia is po. But every day that passes, I am less and less anxious about that because I see more and more examples of how we show up, of how we only pa'a in the image of our queen, Lili'u Kalani. So mahalo ya o pakahia pao no kela. Ask me about the Mauna. And I will tell you about 30 Kanaka huddled shivering in an empty parking lot, praying the Lahui will answer the call. I will tell you about two nights spent caught sleeping directly under a sky scattered in stars. In air so clear, every inhale is medicine. How every morning I woke to a Lahui Kanaka growing as if we were watching Maui fish us one by one from the sea. Ask me, and I will tell you how on the third morning I watched this, 30 became 100. Then 100 became 1,000. Then 1,000 became us all, each and every one of our kupuna standing beside us. Ask me, and I will tell you the mo'olelo of eight Kanaka chained to a cattle grate. And the kokua who sat beside us. How we were never alone in the malu of the mauna. How no one is ever alone in the malu of our mauna. Ask me, and I will recount their names. All 38, each, all 38, each kupuna who showed us mo'opuna how to stand. How I wept and wept and wept as I quietly held their names in my chest. Ask me, and I will sing the song of our manawahine, linked arms and unafraid, who stood in the face of a promise of sound cannons and mace. Ask me, and I will tell you. I have been transformed here, but I won't have the words to quite explain. I will say, I don't know exactly who I will be when this ends. I don't know exactly who we will be when this ends, but at the very least, I will know that this Aina did everything it could to feed me. That will be enough to keep me standing. Mahalo. my mauna ohana over here ku ku a good friend of mine someone i met on the mauna actually got to know well on the mauna she said the day after the kupuna arrested the day after the manawahine took the road with our kane at our backs protecting us. She said she was standing in a line of women she barely knew but was destined to love. That's how I feel about you folks today. This last poem, uh, this last poem is a long one. Uh, it might be one you're familiar with. There's a mele you know, and it would fill my heart if you sing this mele with me throughout this poem. The poem was written for a few reasons. The first is, too many times we're challenged as Kanaka. People say, when you're protesting, when you're fighting, oh, why are you acting like that? That's not aloha. People who say that, they don't know what aloha means. People who say that should read more how Nani K. Trask. <laughs> aloha is rage and rapture. Aloha is standing firm and fighting for what you believe in. Aloha is holding people accountable, even when it's hard, especially because you love them. So we aloha each other when we fight this fight. But the other reason this poem was written, because in 2015, a group of Kanaka of my generation ascended Mauna Awa Kea. They f and they did so to interrupt, to disturb the groundbreaking ceremony of the 30 meter telescope. And when they did that, a group of Hawaiians at the University of Hawaii held a 24 hour vigil on Wise Lawn. And so when we called the Kia'i, the young people who were up on Mauna Kea that evening, Lana Kilo was there, Kaho'okahi was there. We asked them, what can we do? How can we support you from Oahu? And I'm not sure if it was Lana Kilo or Kaho'okahi because I didn't know them then. I didn't know their voices that well. But one of them said, write songs for us. 
They said, write poems for us. They said, tell the story, the mo'olelo of our fight in the way that our kupuna would have. So I wrote this poem for the people, for the kia'i who have been protecting Mauna, Mauna Awakea since 2015, since 2014, since 2008 when the project was first proposed, who have been protecting Mauna Awakea since 1968, since the, since the lease was officially given to the University of Hawaii. This poem is for you folks and for everyone who has come to love that Mauna since. It's 1876, and David Klakawa, not yet crowned, not yet anointed or king, pens a song at the request of Kamehameha V, Lota Kapuaiva, Hawaii Pono'i, a new national anthem, a new symbol of strength, a new promise to the Kanaka Maoli of Kalakaua's generation that like those before, they will stand and fight for their right to Noho Aupuni today. We call this resistance. Back then, we just called it Pono. Hawaii. So as Kalakawa writes, we sing of a generation of Maka'ainana and Mo'i who gave their fierce bodies for this legacy. We sing and we remember we are the sons and daughters of Po, the deepest, darkest, most creative forces in this world. We sing and we remember Umiali Loa, Kihapi Ilani Monono, Kekuo Kalani Hawaiians, who practice strength, resiliency, and resistance, knowing that no human power was so supreme that it could not or should not be overturned when unjust. Kalakawa writes and remembers an older Kmemeha, Koi Keuli thundering, Uamau Keo Kaina Ikapono. Kalakawa holds this declaration in his evie and pushes, pushes it through his melodies like we have been taught to hold it in our bloodline and cradle it on our tongues, keep it sacred and safe from the poison fingertips of this fake state because it's 1893. An overthrown kingdom, a nation in distress, and Ellen Kehoohivo Okalani Wright Prendergrass feeds her generation rocks of resistance. Pens us the melodic reminder of our genealogy of protest while Kalua Iko'olau and Pi'ilani run through the brush at Kalalawan Kauai. Their steps are heavy but precise because they realize the weight of a generation's oppression shrouding their shoulders. They realize the power from which they resist when they refuse to be wrongfully imprisoned by his sickness. So when Pi'ilani buries him, it is her tears that return his body and rifle to dust, his generation's ihe, an answer strapped across his bare chest pointing back to Kalakawa's call to protect this legacy. Makualani e kameha meha e nakawa e pale meka ihe. Now it's 1895. Over 300 men led by Robert Wilcox take cover in the Pohaku above Leahi. With rifles armed with gunpowder and lohaina, untrained soldiers give their lives for Hawaii. But these are not the core of the key pu'upu'u reign of Waimea. They are only the last physical defense of a people who know in their na'o that laying down to the opposition is not an option, though they are not ihe, not malo, not ma'a. They are the koa who answer Kalakaua's call. And so now it is 1897. And America's physical power seems to be a muscle that cannot be matched. So aloha'aina of that generation take to the greatest weapon of a new time, pen and paper. Because of them, our kupuna, their names remain scratched into a new kind of stone, painting the picture of a strong, unified people, a nation whose love for aina and lahui would never be buried under joint resolution. Hawaii ponoi. Na na i na li i na pua mu li ko na po ki i. Now it is 1976. After almost six decades of mourning, nine young Kanaka Maoli galvanized by the resistance to Kalama Valley evictions, they land on the island of Koholave. Kohe malama lama o kanaloa. They have come to heal an island torn by the bombs of someone else's war for someone else's security. On that day, the Proteko Ho'olave Ohana reignited a practice of Aloha Aina so powerful it defeated the U.S. military. Aye, pa'i pa'i li mano lako. But between March 6th and 7th of 1977, George Helm and Kimo Mitchell were taken. 
their sacrifice confer confirms what we must be willing to offer back to our lahui, that sometimes we do not return on our own two feet. Sometimes we are only a song, the faint memory of a sweet melody. Sometimes we are just the mo'olelo for the next generation to carry. And carry we have. In 1993, 20,000 of us gathered here at the Iolani Palace to hear the brilliant, strong Manawahine Haunani K. Trask proclaim, we are not American. We are not American. We are not American. We will die as Hawaiians. We will never be American. Now it is 2020. Those of us who remain have the kuleana their lessons laced into the backbones of our practice so that they shall never be forgotten. This is a genealogy of protest, written from the memory of past promises on March 29, 2015. Aloha of my generation ascended our sacred Mauna Awa Kea. They have stayed through the night protecting our sacred people on the front lines and in the courtrooms ever since. Their sacrifice confirms resistance is a Hawaiian tradition. Aipo haku. As fundamental to our story as hula and oli, this is a true mo'olalo of Hawaii, of new roots sprouting from old seeds. E na po'e o Hawaii. Oni pa'a in this resistance, knowing that your kupuna, Robert Wilcox, George Helm, Kalua i ko'ola, lili'u o kalani, pi'ilani, manono, keku o kalani, and the hundreds and thousands who joined with them would stand with our young brothers and sisters between any aina and any desecration. We stand on their shoulders today when we insist on a better future. We honor their names. So come, sing with us. Know that when you do, you are joined by the hundreds and thousands who sang these stories before you know in your na'o that this is the way we rise. Mahalo, ladies and gentlemen, once again, put your hands together for educator, historian, orator, and poet, Jamaica Osorio. I don't know about you guys, but I don't know anyone else who can throw down like Jamaica. So, mahalo, mahalo, mahalo. Paging star Kalahiki at this time. Auhea oi. Ekwahine leo nani leo himeni. 
Star Kalahiki, O Oi Ka Maanei, O Hea Oi, Star. Ah, me kaleo kahea ya keeo moku kapu. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, I go move to the micro, the other microphone now. Yeah, it's a new addition to the look today. Yeah, see the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Paole Pilikia. It's because I thought I was Wonder Woman when I was little. I used to jump from stairs and walls and chase people and do all kinds of things. And I think it just caught up to me now that the years are coming back on. Yeah, you see. Should have picked another superheroine to be, yeah? <laughs> <clears throat> no, I, I couldn't cut it as Superman. That's why I wanted to be Wonder Woman. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's, but it's okay. Because, you know, our people, yeah, we understand. Ma, who are magic? Yeah. For those of us who were born Mahu, we weren't just born regular, normal, run-of-the-mill, ordinary Kane and Wahine. We just have a little touch of both inside one body. Today, I will share with you, uh, since, <clears throat> okay, I'm not your original MC. Our original MC had emergency to go take care of, so, Aole Pilikia Kumuhina is filling in today. But I was placed on the, um, on today's plan and uh, today's agenda to speak to you. And as I sit and I listened to all of our speakers so far, we heard some really, really wonderful and inspiring thoughts. So now it's going to be up to me to hopefully do the same. Uh, is there any Mahu Wahine out there? <laughs> Mahu? Kailano? Helemai? Kailana, hello, my. Okay, wait, wait. I'm gonna pull the Makua card. Kailana. Aloha. <sighs> um, any other Manamahu out there? Where are you? I know you're out there. Where are they? Manamahu, Kiva, Sydney, Maddie. Don't tell me they dashed already. Kailana. Kailana. Okay, I would like to honor Kailana Moa Eli for also being one of our Kiai and Alakai for our Lahui. She is our, our Manamahu Wahine who stands behind the veil. Sister, thank you to you for your leadership, your silent leadership. Today is, okay, sister, remember, I'm in charge of this, my microphone right now, yeah? So you just stand there and you look beautiful. Doesn't she look lovely? Yes, always a lady. Now, I would like to acknowledge you for your leadership. And even though you always take that silent back seat and a very humble, and it's almost like pulling teeth to get you to come to the forefront. This is par for the course because you two, one day, when I'm not going to be walking over here, when I'm not going to be walking and doing this kind of stuff, you're going to do exactly what you're doing and carry on. And when the kupuna have 
When the kupuna are called to join our aumakua, they go to the land of our ancestors, and they pass the mantle on, you shall be one who will keep the torch burning. So little did all of you know that this march today and for how many years now, sister? For five years now, one of the primary people organizing and pulling together resources is none other than Ms. Kailana Moa Ilai. Please. <laughs> I'm not quite a speaker. I'm very behind the veil. <laughs> but, you know, in all collaborations with grassroots, with planning for honoring our queen and Lahui, we wouldn't even have done it without all of you guys being present. And you know what? We keep it up annually, and that is just our kuleana as the living. So, mahalo, mahalo, mahalo. <laughs> That's what happens when you give one mahu wahine a mic. You don't know who she's going to call. I have a request of each and every one of you. If you can say that you came today because you love our queen and the legacy of Queen Lili Okalani and her vision for our people. If you can say that you love our beloved flag that waves proudly over our islands if you say that you understand what Aloha Aina means, it is not only love of land and love of country and love of countrymen. If you say that you are proud to be Kanaka, then I ask all of you, where is our main land right here so for those who say and i know it applies to many of you that i'm looking at when you're going to get on a plane and you're going to take a trip you're going to hua kai hele you might be going to las vegas That's a part of the Aina Honu. Sorry, I'm not one who subscribes to it being any ninth island whatsoever. The, the person that made up the ninth island made it so that they would make money when they sold tours. So, sorry, hate to burst your bubble, but our islands are here in the archipelago. So for all those of you Kanaka who are sitting out here today, this is Kumuhina saying to you, don't tell me anything about no flag and you're wearing the queen on top of your shirt and you say kukia imauna because it's cool and you sing, what's that song? Can I get limu on top of now? Oh, kuha ahil, that one. <laughs> and you sing that song. And you do all this lovely, lovely kind of stuff because you quote unquote, proud to be Hawaiian. All right, Hawaiians, our mainland is right here beneath our feet. So can you please kindly readjust the calibration of your olelo? So when you get on a plane, you say, I'm going to travel to the continent. I'm going to travel to the states. I'm going to travel to whatever the name of the state or the city is. But please, can you guys just stop saying, oh, I'm going to go mainland. So irky. And so eras. 
Eros, Eros, Eros. Police. Uh. Ah. No. Kala na yun o kao i ka mua no kai kei na ka hope ko ulohe ani ko kako leo e kahe ana oh I I could go me lani yeah pala na yo oh wait and if you guys think that I'm joking I am dead serious our main lad is here you want to do something for ourselves and our people it starts with the orientation of our mind and our heart. Where is our pico? When we are born, where does our pico go? What happens to our pico? There was a reason why our pico is kanu into the aina that sustains us. There is a reason why our ancestors kept this practice. It was to ensure that we would forever be rooted and we would forever be so firmly anchored into our homeland that we would never ever question where is our mainland. Now, I and others, my generation and older than me, Sometimes we have to go a little bit easy, easy on ourselves because we were conditioned and we were trained. We were taught to say this word mainland and aole pilikia. But this is 2020, everyone, and it's about high time that our kanaka start to recalibrate. Just reprogram the computer a little bit. Aole pilikia. Um, once we do that, you will find that your reality will slowly start to shift. When we say, I'm going to the mainland, which means you're coming back to the homeland here, to Hawaii. When you say you're going to America, to Amelika, when you say you're going to the land of the great turtle, the land of the Honunui, I know Ka Honunui, and you go to the States, I know Ka Ilikini, to the Native Americans, our brothers and sisters from that continent, you will really start to see the shift in how your mind and your heart feels. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, that's my little spiel for you today. Forgive me. I hope I didn't offend anybody. I didn't mean to offend anybody. If I did, that's not my issue. Because you're here on January 17th, and I assume that we all know why we're here. So you should expect to hear things like that. And let me echo the sentiments of someone that I too honor and respect. Akumu, whom I have great admiration for. And I remember her standing there saying, we are not American. We are not American. We will die as Hawaiians. We will never be American. So, ladies and gentlemen, Kaleo Mahalo, Mikaleo Aloha, Kea Yakakoa Paolo, Mahalo Nuya Oko, Kalehu Lehu, Kea Naina, Kako and Nohone, Mahalo Nui, Nokaho Okupa, Oni Paa, Oni Paa Kako, Oni Paa. By the way, one, one last thing before I call our next speaker. We have many in our Lahui who gave of their time and gave of their lives for America and that land. And we too shall respect what they have done. We shall respect their aloha and we shall respect that which they made their commitments to. But once again, never ever let us forget where our mainland is. Please allow me to call one of our kupuna on the front lines of Mauna Kea.
Mahalo to you and to our other Ko Avivo Ole. Alo ehu ehu. No ho i ke anu o mauna wa kea. Te kanaka nona kainoa. O Billy Freitas. Ke olu olu. Nawe mai, kipa mai, hele mai. And any of the other kupuna who sit on the front line, please feel free to join him at this time for kakoo and support. Hele mai, hele mai, hele mai. Mai. I know I see others of those of you kupuna who sit on the front line. Hele mai no, nawe mai, hele mai. Aloha nui kako. This is such a beautiful opportunity to be on the palace grounds, being able to have this opportunity as, but to see our people today, this generation, compared to back in 1893. We still here. We are not leaving. We cannot be deported. That's right. We are a people that should not be ashamed to wear your red shirts, to wear your malo, to wear the things of our kupuna. We should be proud and walk proud. We know the truth today. We know what contributed, contributed to the overthrow. It was a process by foreigners. We today know we cannot practice apathy because why? We know when one Hawaiian walk, the next one walk with them. When one Hawaiian stand up in a meeting because they're going to develop because behind their backyard, stand up with him. When one Wahine is crying because they're losing their land to this illegal process. Stand with them. I get the opportunity today to thank all the kupuna that stood July 17th. And I'm going to take this opportunity to honor them. They're all not here. But I tell you, we got some kupuna look more young than me. I didn't know that. But I love them. We've grown together. Lahui, we all have grown together. There's people over here I, I have never met. But you my ohana. You all our ohana. But Earl De Leon, one of the youngest warriors, Kaho Olave. Still here. I love you. I love all of you. Today is a proud day for our people, but our work just begins. The legislative branch that's behind of us, we need to makaala. We need to stand against the bills that they're going to impose on our kapu aloha. We need to have the, keep that courage that you have to come today and every battle that we're going to stand against. And you akamai opio. They're going college. Get on the ballot. Get on the ballot because we're going to support you. We're all going to support you. It's time to hulimako.
today. With this, Lahui, Aloha, Mahalo. Aloha. Mahalo, mahalo, mahalo. Mahalo, anui e kia naina, ka lehu lehu a kako e noho mai nei. Ikea Manawa Pavi Kea Leo Hea Hea Nohoi Ike Kanaka Nana Noe Alaka Inei Ya Maui Nuya Kamalala Valu Aino Okulua Leo Ka Hea Ho Ikea Ya Oe Eke Koa Vivo Ole Nohoana Ika Malu Ola Haina a me kela hapa aku. Mahalo anui. No kao mauhana mai kai. Au hea oe e ke ea umoku kapu. Ki pa mai na we mai. Hele mai maluna ka papaho ike ike nei. E o maui. Hawaii moko ke awe kaya kalai puka maila Ayala o maui noho no pi ilani nui a kama kaula na noe hale akala Puka maila ke kiki a kanalo alo alo akala e hano hano ke ala i tahiji Hiki a kola no ilan ai kaula la au kua e ala ke aloha opu upehe Ui ke kapuma moloka i o moloka i la i tupuli o o Eo ahu o ke ane o kaku e hewa kuhi kuhi vale o kaali kalani Haali a kanani makawa ya o mano o kalani po o mano o mano ke o ni a ono hiri Pili mai la o ni i hao ka aina ka hele la ni ta aina o i u hiya ta pupu pupu wei A makua la ni huna ka mana o na ka mo le wole wole hua male hua kalae na po ana e Aloha e, aloha e, aloha e nga kanaka no ka paiki aina o Hawaii o kia ai. O Maui, o Molokai, o Lanai. O Kawaii o ni i hau. E nga nga no. E o mai no ka pili koko e kei a wahi. Aloha mai. Mahalo no kako to all the coordinators that put this together. To Helani, to Hina, to our kupuna, to Mauna Awakea. For giving us the inspiration to go forward. To seek the vision that we seek for and the clarity as pertaining to why we are here as Kanaka Maoli, Keia Wahi. This is our Aina. This is our place. And we cannot forget that. Many lessons that are taught, many lessons that I, I learned, especially for myself, I learn every day. The tangible things in life that we always take for granted. Not really understanding our plight and our mission as Kanaka Maoli. This is our Aina. And if I was to tell you that I can help you find the vision that you seek for, all you would have to do is have courage hey to go home. Just that courage. That's all we need. The courage to know what is ours. What is rightfully ours that was left for us by our kubuna. Once their names are fixed by this governing entity, Oko, Kako, or Hawaii, Aina, 
That is the vision that we need to seek for. As pertaining to whether or not our kupuna have left us a legacy. And we need to believe that. I've always believed there is a place for us in this great aina. But we are clouded by the so-called illusion. And that is why we suffer for the lack of manawan that we need so we can go forward and we seek and we can seek for our kupuna of the place that was provided for them. There's many things that we need to talk about. And one of them is how do we bring back the character and identity within ourselves? Many places that I have traveled, many things that I have done, many questions that I needed to ask myself as pertaining to our past, our present, as well as our future. What we need to leave behind for our future generations tomorrow. We need to seek those kind of things because it is there. You, you can smell it. You can feel it. This Aina weeps. Weeps because they are waiting for you to step up, to have courage, and to go home. So we gotta do to understand there is a place on this aina that is waiting for you. So when I talk about title, when I talk about mo'oku wao hao, when I talk about the longing and the belonging, it all coincides. When I talk about Ivi Kubuna, that is now because, you know, the scientists, they call it climate change. Because of the climate change, we see a lot of our Kubuna now evolving. They're rising. They're rising from the ground. Either by the elements or by people who maho oi. But they are rising. And it is our responsibility to make sure that we speak for them because they cannot speak. That place across the street known as Kawai Ha'o. In despite of what had happened in the past, we need to be the ones to find the solution on how we can mend those wounds. How we can come to the table to have a discussion to make sure that we can provide something that will benefit the Lahui. We need to find ways on how we can come together and resolve those things, resolve those issues. All the Ivi Kubuna that have been repatriated from all <coughs> over the world, from Providence, Rhode Island, to New York, to Philadelphia, to Pennsylvania, all these different places that held our Ivi Kubuna in the museums. The repatriation efforts that was done to bring them home. No pow. They're still in a box. They never go Kano yet. I came here on Wednesday hoping to walk the floors of the legislation to ask these so-called lawmakers to help us provide a place for all those boxes that are still in the Bishop Museum, for all those boxes that are still in the containers on our island, on Moko, on Moko Maui, Nohono Pilani. We have over 2,000, close to 3,000 barrels of Ivi Kupuna that is still in boxes held in containers. Oh. I, know, I don't know how much this island has. Moko Kehave. Kawaii. Yeah, we repatriating them home, but are we putting them to rest? So this Akka came to me, this one Kupuna came to me saying that, yeah, we repatriated our Ibi to bring them home. 
but we never bring them home because we don't know where they belong. Because of all of the, the Pupuna that came home was unknown. They don't even know where they belong. So I came to the legislation to ask to repatriate this Ivi Kubuna. If we don't know where they belong, then we need to find some place so we can place them. Not in a box, not in a container, not in a museum. That every leader throughout this whole Pai Aina, Moko Kavi, needs to come together. Maybe a possibility of taking all that Ivi Kupuna and burying them and placing them up on Mauna Kea. For Maui. What is the possibility of taking our Ivi Kupuna that is placed in those containers and placing them in Capella, which is Iao Valley? We need to come together to make sure that we do things appropriately because if the Eha, we brought them home, but we never placed them to rest. And I feel that if we finally place them to rest, that we can come together to come with some kind of resolve or solution to find a place where we can place all of them, then we can lift that veil. Then we can have the vision to know that we can go forward, united, together. I really believe this Kubuna, they come to me. They come to me and they tell me, no power. We need to place them to rest already. Once we can do that, then we can find the solutions that we need to, to go home. We cannot find that. We cannot find the courage to go home. Why? Because they're still not at rest. They're still not at home. Ivi Kupuna that says unknown. They know where the island is, but they never know. They don't know where they came from. So I came here to kind of give everybody homework in hopes that you can find the vision within yourselves. This state of Hawaii is dysfunctional. They are dysfunctional because of the rules and ordinances and all these uh, numbers they call 6E, 13300. 343. Three. You know, I live in Lahaina. I went to my Kula Evies. I went, I went home. And in order to keep what I have to make sure that I can raise my Kamali'is and I can raise my Mopuna, I had to abandon my past and bequeath that to my sons because now I had to get politically involved. I have to find the medium as pertaining to why I am sitting in this seat as a barrel council. You still part of the barrel council? I'm still the chair for Oahu. Still the chair for Oahu. Yeah. So we need a lot of our leaders to put themselves in those places. We have the barrel council. In Maui, we have the Cultural Resources Commission. I sat on OHA's Native Hawaiian Historic Preservation Council for nine years. Every resolution and every motion that we set for it never went any place. Never went anywhere. All our issues of contention, we're not a distraction. They're a distraction. Because they follow acronyms and they follow rules and they follow ordinances. That doesn't benefit us. So I always told everybody, why are we going to ask? Why don't we just take it? If we feel that is our responsibility, then why are we asking for it? Polole I never ask. Polole. Polole. I never ask. So Evie Kubuna washed up along my shores. And the law says that anytime you find Evie Kubuna, you have to call the police department or DLNI, and they would come and retrieve it. Ah, ole. Me and my wife here, we pick up all the Ivi Kubuna, we put it in the Lahala basket, we went to the barrel council, and my wife here said, I don't like give them to them because they don't belong over here. So funny, yeah? 
At the borough council, I made a motion, yeah, that the borough council recognize Naikane Maui and Ahamoku Maui as a repository to all Ivi Kupuna that is found in the Moku of Lahaina. They entertained Mahalo. the motion and gave us the will to make sure that we are the ones that come along. Hello. And I, I hold in trust the Ivi Kupuna that washed up along the shores of Puamana. And now I am the one that is pushing the county and the state to hurry up. We need a place, a safe place to re-enter our kubuna. And I learned a very important lesson. Once they gave us the authority to Malama, it stripped the state of their authority to determine otherwise. We are the ones that need to make the determination as pertaining to how we need to treat our Ivi kubuna, not them. Because they are dysfunctional. They will always be dysfunctional. And the reason why they like that is because of real estate. It's because of land. Land that doesn't belong to them. So when I talk about Ibi Kubuna, I talk about Vahipana. I talk about the story place. At the same time, what is the story place? Whose kuleana is that? So it goes from the Maulama of Ibi Kubuna right into the kuleana Aina that you own, that is yours. So if I was to give you the remedy is pertaining to how you can acquire that palapala so you can deal with this thing accordingly in court, let's do it together. We need to take these resources back. We need to take these lands back. And I'm not just saying take it back illegally, Following the rules of their game, we can take it back. We can take it all back. We took our aina back. And now it is ours. It was entrusted to our kupuna. And now it is entrusted to me to pass it on to my kamali and my mo'opuna tomorrow. So I am here. To kukua, what we can kukua from the Hono of Bigilani, so we can find a place at rest and at peace. Yes, I have won some battles, but my victory is yours. So, mahalo no kako. Oh, have I pay? I know. Ena kubuna. Eola. Eola no. Ena kamali. Ena makua. Ho ea mai la pai kio neo mai ko maui nui a kama mai ka amakua loa a ike kula o kama o mau. Eo mai ko la haina no ta aina ali i he aina na ni hana la wa kipa hulu. Ea mai ke ki he, ka me heo e ke ala ali, ulu vehi vehi ke ki ha ai ke o ne hula ni no kana ha. He aku ke kai o kana loa ke ola kukila kila kawika hana o hana hane wali ke au maala malama ka maha ono ka halawai meko o huo huo iau. No mau inua ka make ka maa loha aina hoa e ka lama kua ho o maala malama. Malama ia ka ike kupuna o ka po kua e la ke o koa ka naka kale kui. Eo e koe noe na koa kau i ka mehe o nga kūpuna. Ma ama ama ki kui uloa e ka ike o loko ulo ma hie hie mai kahi pai ya kahi pai o maui nui. Ka hea ho i mai o kai kai. Eo hawa i pai aina e ho o pa ai ka wa ai ke ala kūpuna. Pa nahe nahe mai la ka makani ke kai maali. Mo ani mai ke ala wana wana ka lei aloha. Eh, 
Ho'oholomua yakako. Mahalo nui e ke ana ina e noho mai nei. Mahalo anu ya oko ka ho'o manawa nui for being so patient as we make our way through our list of esteemed speakers for today. I believe that we have one more speaker before we have some ho'okani pila. E maupopono ke kaline ya ke ho'o manawa nui nei no oko no kapo e ho kani pila e yo no na e e ho o kai no koe me a ha i o le lo o ke ya la he needs no introduction but I will say that and I will sing proudly his praises because I know he's not going to sing his own praises this young leader new leader of our next generations continues to work tirelessly to teach our lahui to share the ike to share the knowledge and to strengthen and fortify our communities island by island moku by moku ahupua by ahupua this young Kumu has traveled throughout the Pai Aina. He and I have had the privilege and the honor of traveling together. And I don't know, well, actually, I do know how he does it. The, the mana of the Kupuna travel with him. That's how he does it. And he goes around and around and around and I cannot keep up with him. And as, as, as busy as my own schedule gets, I cannot keep up with this young Kumu. And even after he chants the whole learning session, when all is said and done, he's still singing and chanting with full voice and ikaika as ever. The young leader whom, again, needs no introduction, but it is quite an honor to present. Ke olu olu, e pai pai li makako, no ia ala kai, o la nakila mangwea. Aloha no kako. Aloha. This was a last minute request, so, oh, okay. Um, no, I just want to start off with a big aloha and mahalo to, of course, all of the organizers that helped to make this possible. Uh, Uncle Hank, you know, who's been holding this down for so many years, and I remember talking with him, he was saying, oh, watching the, the Lahui come. So he's, he's helped to hold this space, and with the movement and the consciousness of our Lahui, we're seeing it grow. Um, and really for everybody else who also came out um, the other day at the Rotunda, it's powerful, you know, and then everyone who has come to the Mauna, the tens of thousands who have turned out to the Mauna, um, and for all the events and all the gatherings all around, mahalo, mahalo, mahalo. Um, and as I, I shared earlier, uh, we had little aha over there um, at noon just to maintain the connection with the Mauna. Um, you know, it's an important thing that when we come together in, this collective, in these collective events, whether they be marches or rallies, pa'ina, <laughs> any of them, what's really important to take back home is that, you know, when you felt that highest part of us, like, wow, you know, because it's, it's something that we've been feeling on the Mauna. Literally, for a lot of people who have spent a lot of time on the Mauna, when they leave, there's like Mauna withdraws, like serious Mauna withdraws. And we're like, oh, and everyone desires to, they want to come back up to the Mauna to feel that again. But we've, one thing that we've been trying to encourage you is, you know what, and well, as we've gone out to, uh, part of my koleana helping to share the mana'o of the Mauna, help to share the aha, so anyone can, can feel that, that connection. It's really bringing that teaching that the Mauna has shared back down. Bring it into your own home. 
Carry the mauna with you. So when you wear that shirt or when you call out kukya i mauna, we are mauna kea, that you are actually walking in the image of Tutu Mama. That we walk in that same silent humility, but powerful strength. I always say, to, to stand like the mauna, the mauna no need, no need get loud. Just stand solid. Yes, I'm going to quote a Disney movie, but you know what they say. Yeah. No matter how the wind howls, the mountain will not bow to it. Extra points if you know what cartoon that came from. <laughs> but that's a, that's, that's a real true saying right there, to be solid and firm, to be pa. You know, the idea of, mana ot, of that pa, you know, what I love about the, uh, one kupuna shared me the imagery um, that she has of when we say oni pa. Oni pa is to be steadfast. But only is to have that little bit of fluidity at the same time. Yeah? Because if you just too power at a time, sometimes you're going to crack. So have the ability to be steadfast, pa'a in the ground, but still be able to shift and move as we need. So in this day and age, you know, I, I would say I, I am a product of so many kupuna and makua who really worked and dug them dug them deep into the trenches of these buildings of government in order to fortify our right for Hawaiian education. I am a proud graduate of Kano Kaina, who was the first native Hawaiian public charter school to open up in Waimea. Um, and even before the charter school movement, the charter school movement began with summer programs down in Waipio Valley, started by a few, uh, a few um, uh, strong alakais, uh, the Kahakalau Ohana and Tiku, Uncle Nale, you had Uncle Kia Franda, the Kanahele Ohana, and many others. And their idea of bringing all these, uh, bringing young uh, Kanaka and literally full immersed. When I was young, was one month we lived in the valley. You know, work, you know, eat. Old school, I loved it. But that's the foundation because there's something they always said, you know, you'd see us, we'd be able to go down there and completely immerse and memorize. Pages of chants, learn all the mo'olelo of the valley, be able to learn about the lo'i, to cultivate, to cook, to clean, to all these different things, and be able to recite and, and educate even our families when they came down to visit us. And you would see this, this amazing growth with, with us, you know, being in our, in our aina. Yeah, I remember Auntie Ku Kahakalao saying uh, when she sh shared about um, the awakening and the movement of the charter schools. You know, they were watching how, in our native environment, how native children thrived. Yet, for a lot of us, like myself, I'll be the first, we were all the derelicts in the regular DOE. I was <laughs> sped, I was ADHD, I was every freaking letter they can call me. And now I teach classes, so. <laughs> but it was something to see the native child in the native environment being able to excel in learning. But I remember Tiku saying, so then if we see a healthy environment where our children excel, why then do we want to force them back into the belly of the beast? And that was the birth of the idea of creating these Native Hawaiian public charter schools. Cultural-based learning. Um, so I always say, you know, I, I'm, I'm very mahalo that in my high school, I only had that from ninth grade up. So all of our younger keiki who are coming up that's had it their whole life, you know, Whoa. yeah. But what the, in, the powerful thing that I, I really mahalo out of my kumus was the idea of teaching us to be able to walk in both worlds. To be able to understand the system that we are stuck in. Yeah, but not lose our foundation. We don't have to give up being kanaka anymore to be successful. We don't have to give up anything anymore. In fact, we found that it's given us a stronger foundation in creating our futures then simply jumping into something completely uprooted with no foundation because you know what that is the oppressor's function that's the systematic process that they have done to our people and not just to us they've done it to indigenous and native peoples aboriginal peoples whatever you like call it they've done it to the people of of the earth all over the first thing they attacked was our spirituality. Our religion, our spirituality that kept us tightly connected to Aina. Yeah. 
So in that, all of our functions, because understand that for me, that's what it is to be a Kanaka Mauli. To be a, 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 native, a native Hawaiian is that I am part of the native ecosystem of these islands. I am one of the unique species in the indigenous ecosystem of the Hawaiian islands. Our people lived in a way that we fit into the natural makeup of this land. That's why we were here for two, three, four thousand years and when the first Po'ehaole showed up, they still was able to write about paradise. They still wrote of beautiful forests, abundant with birds, healthy people, fish full, the ocean full with fish. So what happened? How have we fallen from such grace? One of my favorite quotes that Uncle Kindy Sprout told us about that's in Captain Cook's journal. These are the finest specimen of human being I've ever seen. He wrote about our physique. He wrote about our intelligence. So where are we? Where are those, where are those, are those verdant fields? Those amazing field systems that our kupuna designed. Are these not practices that we can still use in the 21st century? Absolutely. We still need to be cultivating a malamar or aina. Success is not measured if you're sitting in one of these block buildings here. The size of your bank account is not what's going to feed your children. Borrow another manao from some of our indigenous native ohana, Cree, Cree Indian native prophecy. Only after the last fish has been caught, only after the last river has been poisoned. Only after the last tree has been cut down. Only then you're going to find you cannot eat your money. Our kupuna spoke of that in other ways. Do not be, don't get caught up with all these heaps of money. I stand for our right as Kanaka Maoli for self-governance. For independence, not because I don't want all the wealth to come to us, but because I understand that we have our innate responsibility in literally in our genes on how to live on this land. It is very difficult being in this concrete jungle. But you know what? If you kanaka mahiai, yeah, more than 50% of it is actually giving back to the land opposed to only growing your crop. If you kanaka lavaia, a fisherman, no, three trips out there was just for feed fish. One time you go out, go get, go get fish. Hula dancers, you go make your lay. Three hours cleaning the forest, one hour you pick. We were, no matter what role you played, we were in constant servitude to Aina to make sure it was always going to be there, piha full for the next person to come. And if no more enough, what we do? No take. Yeah. Those same principles can be adapted to us here and now in the 21st century. Do we strive to teach our children to be educated just so they can hold piha their pockets? Or that they can become great stewards to Aina? Great caretakers for environment? So, as we holomua, as we continue to grow, it's a big thing for me that um, when we look at that chat, yeah? words that was uttered by the kahuna kapihe in the time of Kamehameha. What were they speaking of at that time? Because Kamehameha caused a complete upheaval and turnover of the traditional system. So we're taking that because we need to do that again. Yeah? We need to see this, something's got to shift. So literally, if you don't know this chant, learn it right now. I noticed, I see more of you out there and I saw your mouth's not moving. Pay attention. Here we go. E ku anakapaya. E ku anakapaya. They're literally saying that which is above must come down. That which is below much ri must rise up. The land shall unite and the people will stand. The wall shall stand. What we're talking about is those systems that are above us, that do not serve us. We need to deconstruct those systems. Those systems that have failed us 
We must deconstruct those systems. And sometimes that takes removing those who do not serve their purpose well. But that is also means simultaneously, we must then create those better systems, champion and find those who are willing to do that hard work and rise them up. If we only focus on the takedown without a plan on what we're going to rise up, then we're kind of screwing ourselves up. It's a simultaneous movement. So Lahui, do not just go back to your rat race. Go back and look at what your community needs and become a function to your community beyond your own house. Yee. That is a kuleana. We say kukulu. You know that summer camps that I talked about? They were called kukulu kumuhana. The coming together of many to complete a common task. That's the foundation that, we, that I was raised on. It's about the kako. So, we see it happening. And again, we can gather like this. We can march. We can rally. But if you just go right back into the rat race, we did this for nothing. This needs to translate into action. So what we have coming up, this is an election year. We have the opportunity to get in there and infiltrate. Some people might say, don't get it. But you know what? I love that word, duress. Yeah. If I don't agree with the system that we're under, because trust, I'm an independent advocate. But I understand that hey, we're oh. we stuck under one system right now. So I will engage with it under duress. I had to get my license from them under duress. Yeah. I had to get my passport under them under duress. Well, I'm going to vote under the rest if I got to too to make sure that I can influence this and a bet to be better for our Lahui and for Aina. <laughs> do what you got to do, engage, and with this, we shoot fire everything we got from every angle that we got and kako each other is the time. And I, I'll close with this. I think there's another mana'o in our kupuna said, Aole makoa e minamina. Do not concern yourself with petty things because you know, Lahui. A lot of times we get caught up on some real petty things. Oh my God, the bugger look at me funny. <laughs> so what? We get bigger fish for fry. Yeah? Kilo. Why are you going to carry that? Why are you going to carry that? Okay, so in closing with this, I get one short little mo'olelo. Okay? Some of my friends notice when I say, put down. <laughs> Okay, it's a little more level. It's not Hawaiian, but it's it, good learning. Okay? Long ago, there was a monk, and he had his pupil with him. And as they were traversing through, making their way back to the monastery, they said this, they got to the river, and it has been pouring rain, pouring rain. Yeah? And a geisha was there. And the river had swelled over, and the bridge was overflowing and her kimono would get all wet. And there she stood. And, but because of how she handles her life and stuff, to the, most times the monk was uh, taught not to engage with those who live in such a lifestyle. But when they got there, the elder monk, he asked the geisha, can I help you? She said, oh yes, the river is full. Climb onto my back and I will carry you across. And the young pupil was like, what? No, 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 we don't engage with people like that. And he carried her across, got her to the other side, nice and dry, and put her down. She said, Arigato gozaimasu. Shoots. And she went on her way. They went back to the monastery, and that night as they sat down to eat, that young monk the whole time was like, wow, how, you know, how, come he did it? how come he was touching her? How come he was engaging with her? We're not supposed to engage with people like that. Da, 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 da. It was driving him nuts. Yeah. And finally, the older monk, he was looking, he said, you know, I see something's bothering you. What is the matter? I just, you know, it's been bugging me. We're taught we're not supposed to engage with people who do things or live in that kind of lifestyle and such, but yet you, there you were. So why did you help her? Older monk looks down. Hmm. When I got across the river, I put her down. Why haven't you? So Kanaka, when you get, you know, little things that can conflict with you, people give you issues or whatever, it is up to you if you're going to continue to carry all that weight on your back or not. Or you can just do what you got to do. 
put it down, and hold on more. Aole mako a e mina mina, because we got bigger fish to fry. Mahalo anu iloa yakako. Aloha. Mahalo, mahalo, mahalo. Mahalo nui ya oe la nakila no koma umana o hoi. Koma umana o hoi kaika yakako. Keia manawa. He hoa aloha aina hoi keia. O ila o laua noho i a me ko noho a e noho a nei ka malua me ka olu o hono uli vai ma molo ka inu ya hina pi i mai a nei ko ke ya papa ho ike ike nei ke ya manawa o ya ho i o kai hano hano me mai le na ehu au ya olu a hano hano mai le. Kazen hele mai. Pai pai lima kako. Chen chen chen. Hey. Um. Hello, everybody. Um. Before I start. It's hard not to um, tell my cousin uh, Hina Wong. Oh, we've been no introduced my way Hina yet. Um, I'm, 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 I'm oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I should have just went tell me. I'm not going to stop her from doing what no, she's going to do. No, you're supposed to tell me. Oh, my I would gosh. never. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, you, yeah, you know when to step down. <laughs> okay. And I know. But, um, yeah. My name is Hano Hano Naeu. Get my stuff ready. See how this thing sounds. My volume all the way up. For some reason, I, one, two, I always one, get two. the kind of technical difficulties. And aloha aina, ladies. Aloha aina, everybody. Kupuna. Let me introduce you to a song. Rodeo days, oh, how we play. In the dust, in, in the, the rain. rain, chasing the fame. Part of the game. game, Papa said, boy, make them remember your name. Hano, hano, the Paniola Prince, Jedi Knight Master, Sunshine. Hano, hano, the Paniola Prince, rocking the mic, the beach just ripped. Hano, hano, the Paniola Prince, Jedi Knight Master, Sunshine. Hano, hano, the Paniola Prince, telling you straight how we love and we live. No kahek you mean better than the best. Broken wild cows down the mountain was the test. Now key your broke, tie them to your saddle. Stay cool, cowboy, don't get rattled. And just to see if we can handle. Start the fire in us, they say light your candle. Stay off the ground, don't get trampled. When you rope, do it clean and mean no need for scandal. Number one rule we learned was have good attitude. Always be respectful, show Ainas and elders gratitude. Get out of land and act punk rude. Pops poop in the head. Change the latitude. Rodeo your days, oh how we play. In the dust, in the rain. Chasing the fame, part of the game. Papa said, boy, make them remember your name. I know, I know. The Paniola Prince, Jedi Knight Master, Sunshine. I know, I know. The Paniola Prince, rocking the mic. The beach just ripped. On your mark, ready, sit outside, open the gate. I'm coming ropes blazing, leaning on fate. I couldn't wait, destiny was our date against all of the odds. Oh, I ain't moved, checkmate. Gave him a nod, out of the box real hard. The Paniola Prince and my cousin Jake Rod. Took five seconds, we changed the game. Better than all the rest. Pronounce how are your name? Everything happened, all in smooth motion. Coming out, flowing, moving like the ocean. That's when it happened, my papa had some action. See it slowed down, his horns I was grabbing. Took the corner, dally, pork spur, look back. Oh, I knew it, brother Kayama had me snapped. Face to face, done, flag down, it's a wrap. 5.82 world record, I'm the second flat. What a slap, in all those howling cowboy maps. Hawaiian paniolas on full attack. Rat a tat tat, I'm back. In Wyoming, way cool and pretty was crown world champ. Rodeo days, oh how we play. In the dust, in the rain, chasing the fame, part of the game. Papa said, boy, make them remember the name. Yeah. 
My name is Ano Ano Na Ehu, aka the Paniolo Prince, Jedi Knight Master Sunshine, the pirate from Molokai, they call Hans Bolo. And that is the small part of the story. I'd like to introduce you to the love of my life, my partner. Um, I can tell you pretty much, I learn from her every day. Not even. I wish. Yeah. How you know? Because there's a little bit of correction every day. And that's learning. But more than that, the wahine, this wahine of mine, to me, that's how I like try and treat the aina. I like try. Wahine is, we not treat them good enough. Yeah, never did ever since this damn illegal occupation started. We got to get back to being us. So let's take you on a ride. We'll go take you guys back home. This is the one of Kiangi, here in abroad. Pacific Ocean is where we come from. All one people under the sun, together as one. Time to stand and fight for all, not just some. Not run or succumb to the dumb ones. No offense, cause we're not trying to make trouble. But what you said you're taking is really more like double. Environment in rubble, tipping point is on the bubble. Fish, you rustle when the politicians you hustle. Our feathers get ruffled when our cries get muffled. We all struggle while you cuddle and snuggle. When you smuggle, you laugh at us and you chuckle. Taking what you like, flexing military muscle. But your reality is truly insanity. An epic tragedy for all of humanity. Ironically, you fail to see that for family, we will fight to protect this world for eternity. New generations got his standing right here. All the children of Moana Nui are Papa Earth, Mother Wakea, Sky Father, Pacific Ocean, Sisters and Brothers. I won't get way more than what you know from the surface to the floor. Because when you open our native doors, it is secrets that lie in this. Legends and lore, and at the core of what we need to restore is being sustainable and not leading the store. We are the natives of these lands. Hear us roar, the raping of resources over. Say no more. Tell that baby, tell me. We laugh because it's funny. When you realize you cannot eat the money, your need for greed and your consumption. Causing the food chain to malfunction. A system broken because of your corruption. Species destructions on your instructions. Causing us to have a spiritual eruption. Gotta fight now before they leave us with nothing. New generations got it standing right here. All the children of Moana Nui are here. Papa Earth, Mother Wakea, Sky Father, Pacific Ocean. Just this is my day. Somewhere a mother is crying, the ocean is dying, and the politicians outright lying. Greed intensifying, please stop denying. Dead rising, poverty multiplying. Over and over again, I'm reciting a pledge to protect what we love till the day I'm dying. Let's fight, brain to brain, no biting, silly fighting. Lua is counterfighting, striking. New generations got it standing right here. All the children of Moana Nui are there. Papa Earth, Mother Wakea, Sky Father, Pacific Ocean, Sisters and Brothers.
Sorry we missed some Wednesday. That's how we made the song. Yeah. Kooey at the Capitol. Kooey at the Capitol. You hear the sound of rolling thunder. Kiki make it party in the rotunda. Kooey at the Capitol. What? Kooey at the Capitol. Yeah. There is nothing more fine now. They win. Everybody aloha aina E kui kui kako E kui kui kako E hapa iluna e kui lalo Aloha na keiki a aloha ike kalo Children of Kanaloa, Kane Kohina and Lono Help them make a situation little bit more pono Speak with wisdom, up against the system Fight for freedom, for the Hawaiian kingdom But good luck bringing, we get heart and brain Don't be scared of shame, we'll bring the pain Our land we must retain, regain and reclaim Spreading porno messages across all terrain Aloha Aina, know the name Don't you hate the players, you hate the game I was in my mama's opu and it was happening Feeling the vibe like a whole Olave was cracking Moms and dad, yeah, Hawaiian for sure They taught us by example how to eat more When you hear this melee hit your ear Aloha Aina, warriors be ready and we have no fear So we cool eat at the Capitol You hear the sound of rolling thunder. Kick it, make it party out in the rotunda. Kui at the Capitol. Yeah, Kui at the Capitol. There is nothing more fine now than when everybody in Aloha Hey, hell in mind, come over here. Listen up, cuz, never show fear. Tired of changing, poof, we were supposed to disappear. Get up here now, remember Akupuna used to throw spears. Right in the heart and brain where I'm aiming. All our spears together just like raining. Fight like we losing our home of our inane. Stupid, fat, and lazy propaganda enemies say. How much must we lose? How much can we pay? Just to ensure we stick home every day. Cause the fight to be who we really are seems to me like we still in the Spanish American War. The rules never change in the kingdom, always fit us. Paradise found, not lost by the rush. Pili Kia wide, shoving us on the side. Spraying that much pesticide, call it Aina Genocide. Who eat at the, the Capitol? What? Who eat? At the Capitol, yeah. yeah. Hear the sound of rolling thunder. Kick it, make it pop, yeah. In the rotunda. Cooey at the Capitol. Cooey at the Capitol. Yeah. Hey, there is nothing more fine now. They went, everybody hello, hi now. Cooey, cooey, taco. Hey, cooey, cooey, taco. Hey, I buy you tonight, cooey. Okay, I like that. Boy said, Ankh, try a little bit. I can pump you guys up. I go, oh, I like getting pumped up. Relax is our thing. Again, all the Kiai, men, women, children from Moko Kiave, we love you guys. Ooh, ooh, a girl. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, big buck, big dog, big tiger shot. But the amount, all of you guys, Keloa, Lanakila, every, I'm not going to name them all because I love you all. What you're doing is heroic. Oh, you guys' names is so in there on the legend book right now. Hey, cool fire now. That's why we all got to get help, get in there, put your name in, put your name in. This is the biggest one, long time. Legends. Yeah. So this song was for that. And what going through and, you know, I know Warriors. You ready, baby? Yes, we ready. They're only reggae tunes so far. Yeah, we heard if you don't play uh, make reggae music, they're not gonna play you on the station. We still not on the stations. Tell them play us on the station. We play Hawaiian music. Just so happens sound like hip hop. This is Hawaiian music. Woo! Superheroes are no warriors.
Don't be surprised, kaho o kahi, talking clearly, really. Creativity blossoms in the country. Freely in nature and out of your city. And saving the mountains of crime, we all guilty. We don't need your worry, help, or your pity. Thinking we wanna be like Iggy is very silly. We love picking, planting, hunting. Boys, box, billies, 24-7. She's 65, daily, monthly, yearly. So maybe you can hear our bullies more clearly. Culture needs to be fought for, fearlessly, intergenerationally, but cleverly. Kapu Aloha, this could be deadly. Superheroes and warriors, time to rise up and create again. Kue. This is the real news and not pretend. What we love, we will protect until the end. Superheroes and warriors, time to rise up and create again. Kue. This is the real news and not pretend. We love, we will protect until the La end. La hui, when you ready to roll, come on, rock steady. We burning them down like Tutu Pele for the Mona. We dropping bars heavy, rock a hoka like the dynamite. Kaihena, Lakea, Persian, Puna Helen. On Gangsta Beach, or on ukulele. The new prayer song, put it in the Nahi Meni. E puli kako, mahalo kea kua. Hallelujah, amama, ua noa, amen. Superheroes and the warriors, time to rise up and create again. This is the real news and not pretend. What we love, we will protect until the end. Superheroes and the warriors, time to rise up and create again. This is the real news and not pretend. What we love, we will protect until the end. How long? Until the end. Till the last. Okay, um, if you listen to our CD, the tip of the spear, I love you, thank you. <laughs> but if you're listening to the tip of the spear, understand the rest of the shaft is coming. <laughs> hey! Watch out. <laughs> you can take that a lot of different ways right now, but it's the truth. My God. It's the truth. And if you listen to our CD, the tip of the spear, the funny little friends in his clean mile, Dot com. You would think that we live on Moku Oke <laughs> Yeah, we get plenty of songs that talk about Moku Oke But you live where it's most yes. beautiful at Honolulu. Oh, mahalo. Yes, yes. I, I, I come to think every inch of this archipelago is sacred. Yeah. For and sure, you cannot for have sure. nothing. So that's being said, we got to go back into history and look for some good mo'olelo and some ali'i and maka'inana that we can emulate and become. So this song is, again, for all our young ones. Um, and if you're looking for somebody for be like, try umi alilo. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You thought I was going to say me? Wrong, boo. <clears throat> no, Bill, eh. Eh. Uncle Flawed, Aloha Aina Bulletproof, and you can have them. Hey, ano hano oli lo, o umi ali lo kapula pula. Ike o pano pano kano hana, o umi ali lo kamo ike o lana o ka aina o Hawaii ine. Hey, kapo no ika hoi hoi. Hey, hoi ka ko ka la, umi ka aina mana nui o kamo ni o umi ali lo e o Hawaii. Oh, umi ali loa e o Hawaii. Oh, umi ali loa e o Hawaii. Oh, umi ali loa e o Hawaii. We come into the Valley of Kings to share love and to sing. Spreading aloha aina, bringing a swing, getting back to doing poor things. Take your money and your diamond rings, fake glitter and shiny bling. MTV Spring Break one night flings, microwave made to water. Hot wings going to the Lord, eat back to the river. 
Knock on no quiver like who we stronger than ever. We never wither. See the hither. Pulling trigger like a killer. Express deliver. I'm on Olelo, so oh no. You poor Ololo. Parker, slow roll. Holo, holo on cruise control. Going through your blow hole. Then hell it on down to the local. ER, my makaku no fear. I ole pili kia. But hindsight makes his story crystal clear. We need to collectively shift gears, kick some pila buggers up in the rear. We not dead and gone. Our generation lahui is shattering in your face right here. Beat the tip of the spear. Renaissance, cavalier, who ain't common deal. Saving the planet is our career. I'm the pony on the prince, right here. and the champ is here. <laughs> Our Aina is nobody's bitch. P.O.T. to her is loyalty that will never switch. Living next to the Hi'ilave River in a culture. Water is money, it makes me super rich. Heard her there's a hitch, programming glitch. If you see me start to twitch, better run before I switch. Into the ferocious guardian. Abomination experiment 626 stitch. High power, lock loaded. With my semi-automatic banana clip. Ready to defend, Ruben. Be the proof in the pudding, make legends and transcend. Ammunition that whiz and zip obliterate, rip, trip, with the hit. Native linguistics, tip ballistics. Paniolo trigger man, quick feet, draw wit. First coup in battle was cruise ships. Pawn guardian, read my lips. Aloha, Aina Rama, when I grab the mic and spit. Rebel headquarters, world's highest sea clicks. Combos coming in, shop clean, crisp. The porno so oh no, you can't resist. We the gorillas that's hiding in the mist. Deep slip, touch it, touch it, count up, do it back. Hey, hano, hano, all you are, oh, um, yali, loa, kapula, pula. Ike, au, kano, 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 hona, oh, um, yali, loa, kamo, ike, au, lana, oka, I know, Hawaii, in there. Hey, ah, kapono, ika, hoi, hoi. Hey, hoi, ka, ko, ka, la, ui, ka, I know, mana, nui, o, kamo, i, oh, um, yali, loa, eo, Hawaii, i. Oh, you're not even pow. No, 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 we know oh, you're not pow. Oh, and, and when you pow, we're going to have to hold you again. Um, Watch out, I only need one, and I remember, I get one. Semi automatic banana clip. The tip. The counter. We're not talking about guns. Well, I guess, you know, <laughs> shoot, shoot. <laughs> counter is shoot, the only way shoot. we can talk to see more culture. <laughs> Cousins, can you tell everybody while you're looking for the next Lele, how can they get a hold of your music? Oh, yes. Um, so we're on iTunes, Paniola Prince and his Queen Miley. Uh, we're also on Spotify, so you can stream us. We're on Apple Music. We're on all of those different, except for Pandora. But we're on all the different ways that you can get music. You can also stream us for free on YouTube. Um, our whole album is on there, as well as some of our holo holo car ride video things that we do for fun. Get a couple songs. They're not on the album because they was made when the Mauna stuff started. Yup. Is what we call what what the movement the the well, together we rise, right? Inspiration, the Mauna, our family, each other. Let's go. We're gonna so, we're gonna fight without using fierce, cause Kapolo, you still can scrap with your mind. Like Kara Kupuna wanted to, and we can show him love. And speaking of showing love, so everybody, don't forget iTunes, Spotify. Yeah. I know you guys can go watch them on YouTube, but let us support our island talent and the mana that comes. Let us all go. Get wait, wait, wait. I, I, got, I, got, I got a better deal maybe for you guys. Wait, wait, what? We thinking about doing our next album. Oh, yes. The first album had about 300 people that all went donate and help us.
do the first ever uh, crowdfunded um, hip hop music project in Hawaii. Well, funded. Yeah, that's what Najafi told me. If I, I wrong, then he wrong. But what I'm saying is that ownership for this project not just belong to us, but belong to everybody who can help. And like, if you guys really serious about helping, not only go listen to the music, but maybe you guys can be part of the next project and together yeah. we rise. Yeah, it's, it's a real thing. You know, Hawaii musicians, we, not, we, we don't make plenty of money. Because the way we can get music nowadays, we don't need to go to the music store and buy the music. Yeah, we can get it on the radio, we can stream it for free, we get it on YouTube. So we do it purely for, our, for aloha, for our people, investment in our future generations. But when it comes to making a new album, aohe kala. You know, because we simple people. Kia i loko, I'm a kumu. So yes, please keep that in mind yeah. when we start to come out there and say, we're ready for the next album. You can give us $1, $5, $20 then. That's how you can cocoa us the most. Mahalo. Yeah. So this song is not on an album. <laughs> you don't need you don't need to pay money, forget them. You just help us tell them, yeah. forget the flock of oh, the our mountain. Sorry. Get the flock of our mountain. You get the flock of our mountain. Cause we will never run. Cause we love more than we scare of your guns. Get the flock of our mountain. You get the flock of our mountain. Cause we will never run. Cause we love more than we scare of your guns. Open our eyes and see a better way. Work together for a more collective say. Not go half or call it, go all the way. We're living in the blessed era of Max Holloway. It is what it is, I chance grind every day. Set it banging, I know all of my name. Jedi Guardians of the Galaxy, non fiction, non fallacy. Our home, not a theme park, you see them on gallery. Off the grid, down in the valley. Living sustainably and happily. What we need, we get plenty. Nobody crank it. Go easy spank it with your hanky panky. Oh, and say, making big noise. And we got them listening, chanting, singing, dancing, and we whispering. In a battle never ending, Mauna defending, trending. This rebellion beginning to the happy ending. Get the flock off our mountain. You get the flock off our mountain. Cause we will never run. Cause we love more than we scared of your guns. Get the flock of our mountain. You get the flock of our mountain. Cause we will never run. Cause we love more than we scared of your guns. In this circle of assassins, we use words as weapons. Tearing tyranny apart while we teaching lessons. Chanting down this Babylon system on present. Lighting up the darkness, cleaning messes, and spreading blessings. Ready, willing, and restless. Kiyaki frontliners in the trenches, ready to wreck shit. Dug in deep on heavy gangster beat. Bring the heat, never back down, surrender or retreat. Small victory, slight adjustments, press repeat. Our stories we now speak, we don't need sleep. Nature over concrete is how we snatch in victory from your jaws of the fleet. Get the flock of a mountain. You get the flock of our mountain, cause we will never run, cause we love more than we scare of your guns. Come on, I love you guys. I love you guys. My Flock of our mountain, cause we will never run, cause we love more than we scared of your guns. Man, I think the album is coming sooner than we thought. 
Of anybody who may have parked on King Street in the meters, Kanaka, you get so nice. Your cars are getting towed. We, we never tell you guys we was too that poor for you guys. Told. Come on, throw, but I Go love check you guys. Check no. now. <laughs> we really that poor. You never have to do that, but I love you guys. We're doing that. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Ano Halo, Ano Ano, and Queen Miley. What do we do Hello. when we have enjoyed what we've heard? We say, Hana Ho! Hana Ho! Hana Ho! Only if you guys helped. Okay, um, this song is called Just Breathe. We're gonna scream here, uh, and you guys are gonna have to answer. Just for uh, what who go on? Um, Babe, how do we go? Uh, which one? Which one? Which one? Oh, oh. Let me take the lead for my Ana, I will bleed. Let me take the lead, I'm a Polynesian breed. Let me take the lead while everybody scream. Hey, uh, just breathe. Okay, all right. So another good story. We're in March from the OHA, the OHA building to the state capitol. When we reach up there, the young Moko Kiave leaders went inside. Somebody to scream. Is Walter here? I want to scream. Yep. Walter, Where's Walter? Walter? Ready up. Walter is his mentor. Oh, that's Walter. The door closed already. We stayed in Iggy's office. And then Iggy come in. The only thing I like about that guy is his mustache. <laughs> Jealous. Anyway, Kaokai looking at the napkin, which we're looking at, and then thing get our seal and our model. Right when Iggy, Iggy come out, Kaokai pointing to the word, yeah. Explain to him that's not life. Not only that's not life, that's sovereignty. Okay. Oh, which one you do? Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, babe. Yes, sir. Anyway, he tell the governor the thing not only means sovereignty, but it means to just breathe his breath. Oh, I was over there. I was crying. I was losing him. I was punch the guy's face. But then that stopped with me and that kind of was like, you know, when you take away your breath, that's taking away everything when you take away our air. The air, the breath of this land is the connection between the Kanaka and the, I, the Aina. It is the sovereignty, it is the breath, it is life, it is, it, it is not one without the other. So um, that was the aha, and so that's the inspiration behind this mele. Sorry, he doesn't have the beat for that song, but there's a the whole story for it. Oh, babe, babe, babe. I was going to tell something else. Like, hey, something went happen real bad to my stuff. He just wanted to share them all, Lelo. But that's right. Uh, share more, Lelo. Okay, anyway. Even if they told me I had to leave this place, I wouldn't. I love that our Kupuna found this place for us. We gotta protect them. We gotta love them. Let's go. Aole. Aole. I said Aole. Aole. We screaming Aole. 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 I would never ever leave this place But what if they had guns in your face Spraying you with mace And your family disappeared with no evidence and no trace I would still never leave this place But what if your family's face got sold and replaced And you got chased out to brown What's the color of your smiling face? I would still never leave this place But what if your fate is locked to sacred things Locked in a case, it's a far off place Left there like you to rot and waste. I would still never leave this place. But what if every space of your place had a trace of the poison and plastic? Contaminated, tragic, and you gotta exit it to space. Ah, ole. 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 
And no fight, be original. No need cover or bite, just do us. Fat knots, hammer down and bust. Paniola go for the gusto, not a struggle, bite dust. Make music to fight for what's right. Lyric woven tight, highlight make bright. Shine the light on our people's plight. Going viral heights overnight. Screaming, I am here like all might. In the eye, I trust, money have no lust. Stop all the minus in cuz, must use the plus. Simple, nifty, nimble. We knuckle up, throw down like Jorge Mazda, with sliced timber. Make Bobby Lambert go jingle like Chris Kringle. I'm your Huckleberry boy, you Johnny Ringo. Bingo, bango, slice epic. Hit the combos and angles, tattooing triangle. Up your thoughts, fan, go. I would never leave this place. Never ever leave this place. Sorry, I'm not mad. I just really love this place. Uh -huh. I would, I would never, never leave this place. Never ever. Never ever. Never ever, ever, ever leave, this, leave place. this place. I will ever wear a lily gay ever he nay. Ah, ole. I will ever wear a lily gay ever he nay. I said, ah, ole. We stream in our Ole. 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 Our yeah, it, go to Paniola Prince. Hello, hello. The thing, is, the thing is real. The thing is real. My buckle. Yeah. I actually get two on, and I'm gonna show you the second one yeah. underneath. Yeah, he the, the Rodeo Day song, real true story. He set the world record for a team roping with his cousin, cousin Bada Kayama, in Wyoming. Yeah. Back in 1995. <laughs> That's why I told my poor Rotman, me and you the same, boy. <laughs> Hey, what you mean? Like when we was 18, we almost were ruined it for all the Hawaiians. Why? <laughs> we the evidence that Ali bloodline still running in the island. <laughs> there are plenty of us out there. Yeah, right? just like you cool party. Plenty of us out there. Yeah, you right here, anti them. We're destined yeah. for We're destined for it. What song are you talking about? Oh, get down. Okay. Let's go. Sorry about oh wait, no, no, no. I, I get the hand hold that came radio, radio, radio. This is the first gangster song I said, oh babe, this father is gangster. This father is super gangster. They don't need all give us one hand hold. Only one person did it. It was brother right there. It's my cousin right there. Do you know that? Do you know that? He gave him right there. And as we wait for their final hand hold, don't run away everyone. We still have more music. More entertainment for you. Coming up, Star Kalahiki, Hawaiian soldier, and Sons of Yeshua. Stay tuned, everybody. Please put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen, for Moloka'i Zone, Hano Hano, and Queen Miley. Nature is the chief, all humans, the servants. When you become a good enough servant, you get to become a guardian, kiai. Then you can run with us. And us, we run with nature. We run. Running with wolves, swimming with sharks, surfing big waves and climbing mountain tops. And it's never gonna stop how we drop aloha aina on. Dip up. Running with wolves, swimming with sharks. Surfing big waves and climbing mountain tops. And it's never gonna stop how we drop Aloha Aina on. Hip hop with sharks, no blood in the water. Our eyes don't bleed. Attack with massive combos. We act and don't think. 
kamikaze, die bomb in the fleet to shift we sink. I'm the new legend of Zelda, the Hawaiian League. Yeah, my body ready just like rock dead dead. My mind chopped, focused, and clear. There is no fear as the time near. Take a breath, exhale, chap, listen. Hear the crowd cheer. Now it's time, this bugger is mine, time to shine. Witness focus on winning and lose a standing line. Be in a blind rage, like a wild animal in a cage, trying for a world war to rage. Like an itchy trigger finger on a loaded double bound sawed off 12 gates. Go, blow, throw, put on a show. Speed precision, time and make it bugger look up so silly and slow. Running with wolves, swimming with sharks, surfing big waves and climbing mountain tops. And it's never gonna stop how we drop Aloha Aina on hip hop. Running with wolves, swimming with sharks, surfing big waves and climbing mountain tops. And it's never gonna stop how we drop Aloha Aina on hip hop. My bite is always bigger than my bot. I'm not just the big dog tiger, I'm a man eating shot. Practice the art of rebel rousing, throwing spots. Iron Man around the planet, the native Tony Stark. With blade, man, hot shop. Mook, brought up, bombing them with big heart. Putting porn, relentless pressure non stop. Dropping this bug of Molokai, bread hot. So, hip, you gonna hop on in. I'll take you into deep water, see if you can swim. In the middle of the Pacific Rim, bang it. To some roots, rock reggae, Hawaiian hip hop, breathe deep. Paniolo, make them feel loud. On the beach, cowboy, ride them. Chill out, bad people. Make one know you try and heal long. Remember in the kingdom, brave heart, scream freedom! Running with wolves, swimming with sharks, surfing big waves and climbing mountain tops. And it's never gonna stop how we drop Aloha Aina on hip hop. Running with wolves, swimming with sharks, surfing big waves and climbing mountain tops. And it's never gonna stop how we drop Aloha Aina on hip hop. Hello, you guys. Love you guys. Mahalo Ooh, nui. Mahalo nui. Ya oh, ko. Mahalo pa. nui. Kalahu ya vai. Aloha aina. Aloha aina. Aloha aina. Aloha aina. Aloha aina. Aloha aina. Mahalo. Mahalo. Mahalo nui. Thank you for the opportunity. Ladies and gentlemen. Melani, everybody. Mahalo. Mahalo. Kila. Mahalo. Show your love, everybody. Mahalo nui. Aloha no. Mahalo Nui for all of your um, your generosity. Um, we love you guys so 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 much. Amau amau loa. Henani ke yalahu i Hawaii. Henani no. Mahalo. 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 Once again, stay tuned, everyone. Up next, none other than the star, Kalai. I know you. Hey, you ain't seen what song I recently. Yeah, yeah. I've been singing professionally for a long time, but it wasn't until I started singing this song that kids started recognizing me. Mahalo to the hakumele of the song I sing, Kuha Ahio. Change my life, yeah. Ew! I just had to give a shout out to my kubuna from the moon, yo. I'm kubuna kako from day one, okay? I'm just saying, I take pride in it. Thank you so much, each and every one of you, for coming out today, for taking the time to be present here to commemorate January 17th, to remember the sacrifices that our queen, our ali'i have made, our kanaka, our aina, and mahalo for being unafraid to come and stand here today with your lahui. And resonating off of these buildings. 
I am so grateful and so honored to share in this time and space with you. Oh, for this? No, oh, sorry. I have been um, working on something I call the Lili'u Project Check oh. since 2014. And really what it is is it an investigation of Queen Lili'u Kalani's compositions and her life as an artist first, um, like me. Uh. And I'm grateful for these musicians who have come and uh, to Kako'o uh, my voice. This is my teacher, John Senor, and his students, Honeyball and Rob. And we are the Lili U Project. This first song is an offering of Makalapua. Uh, this, the melody that we hear now was actually composed by an Italian composer named Carlo, Carlos Bossetti of a song entitled Would I Were With Thee. And so this is um, my composition. Thank you so much for your patience. I've had a really beautiful and full day. I should explain. Well, I'll come to it when it gets to it. But I'd like to thank Kini Zamora for designing and executing these beautiful dresses for the Queen's Court. For those of you who cannot see her dress, it is the, the music too. Kuupua ipawa kalani. Kuupua ipawa kalani, oh my gosh. How lovely. Yes, and our court will be dancing um, as I sing that melee. After my first melee. So, just to share, if because I think this is a really cool thought. But a mele is not just music, it's not just a song, yeah. A mele is a poetic expression of our kupuna in their time in the same space. Kuupoi Pao Kalani was composed right there in that corner room with no instruments. All she had was a pencil and her heart. But when we offer a mele, or a poetic expression composed in their time, but in the same space, there's activation and sound, rejuvenation, reclamation, resonation. And nothing penetrates hearts more specifically than music. What happened to my sound in the monitor? Check one there, her. <sighs> two and two. Check one, two. Makalapua is her mele inoa, or chant that was composed for her perhaps chanted on the day of the birth.
My teacher asked me to write a composition. I didn't have it the day before show. And I was like, wait, oh, I didn't go to Mauna Ala yet. So I went to Mauna Ala. I went down. I offered Ke Aloha Okahaku, which I sang for you guys on the front line day one. And then I walked into the crypt. And then I sang Ke Aloha Okahaku. And then I went straight to my harp. And I composed that on my harp. It takes Kuleana for me to step up and write a song. At this time, I would like to feature the beautiful Kailana. So I would like to direct your attention to this area because the Queen's Court will depict for you this next song. featuring an introduction composed by Honey Balsers.
Kalani. By the grace of God and under the constitution of the Hawaiian King, Queen, do hereby solemnly protest against any and all acts done against myself and the constitutional government of the Hawaiian Kingdom by certain persons claiming to establish a provisional government of and for this kingdom. That I yield to the superior force of the United States of America, whose minister plenipotentia, His Excellency John L. Stevens, has caused United States troops to be landed at Honolulu and declared that he would support the provisional government. Now to avoid any collision of armed forces and perhaps loss of life, I do this under protest and impelled by said force, yield my authority until such time as the government of the United States shall, upon facts being presented to it, undo the action of its representatives and reinstate me in the authority which I claim as the constitutional sovereign of the U.S.
to her queen. Famous are the children of her lady, ever loyal to the land. When the evil-hearted messenger comes with his greedy document of extortion. But you had an answer. And so to the sands of Pila and Marno Kalanipo and Kakuniba. No one will fix a signature to the power of the enemy with its sin of annexation and sale of civil rights. We do not value sums of money or the government. We are satisfied by the stones. Astonishing food and nourishment. won the rights of the land. Tell the story of the people who love their land. Thank you, man. 
ladies and gentlemen, show your love. The star Kalahiki. And our musical, Sweet. Let's go, let's go, let's go.